Block presents The Black Files, an uncensored interview and review podcast for all geek fandom. What? What I say? Welcome everybody, friends and pals, guys and gals, boys and girls around the world. Pop a squat, pop open a cold one with all your friends. Pop open two because we missed out on a week. It is Wednesday night, a couple of hairs past 10 p.m., and you have been granted access to the uncensored and uncompromising interview and review podcast of the Ravens Flock. So, whether you're a friend or you're a fiend, boy, girl, or in between, you are tuned in to a brand new episode of The Black Files. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. Happy to be here. We're here on the final Wednesday of December. The final Wednesday to wrap up the entire year of 2023, Juan. You're damn what right. a long year has been in both good and bad Listen. ways. Listen. We've quite a few of edits and shenanigans. I am ready for 2023 to end, okay? Yeah, it, it's been hell. Hell oh, times worry. five. Don't worry, 2024 is just around the quarter, a.k.a. the year of the dragon. Yeah, uh, time for you. Mm, me, to the year of me. Oh, you too, nice. Dragon, dragon <laughs> I'm, I'm your host, Juan Arouse. Strangely enough, the Ravens I'm flock, The techie of the team, the guy who somehow miraculously, through the sheer power of will and the power of making sure that even though one of our guys was nearly dead, we still managed to get our content in somehow, even though I still feel totally woefully uh, under, uh, underperformed at this, at, at, at what we did. Uh, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that we did it. And that's the important thing. And I'm the guy who helps us keep this uh, channel from uh, disintegrating and collapsing in on itself. Like many a holes gone black in the night of space and joining me tonight are the usual suspects over here first off we got dragon fang cosplay already in the uh, uh already in the stream here how's it going dragon fang welcome to the show good good very good i hope your christmas was very good over here i hope your, your yes your, your 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 mary chrysler was uh was merry and jolly indeed and joining her is zayana rose cosplay as well zayana merry uh, merry crispix to you Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everyone. All right. And of course, we've got the host of Los Amigos play, uh, the man with a million opinions, zero apologies, and half of a functioning lung. And we'll get to more of that when we uh, when we get into this. Mr. Angel Mendez. Buenos dias, my fellow fuck boys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Angel, please tell oh me that you didn't get sick and you didn't uh, sit out Christmas. No, of course not. Listen, I would not sit at Christmas even if I had lost the use of both of my lungs. I am happy to announce that thanks to my relatively sweet recovery, given all things considered, I managed to have an excellent celebration, which I sincerely hope all of you enjoy as well. There was screaming, there was tall beer, and there was delicious soft pork. Hey, can't go wrong with that. It was pretty good. Can't go wrong with that. And uh, let's not forget, of course, the man with the plan himself, the founder of the Ravens Flock, the uh, uh, the the host of uh, Wrestle Rewind, which is live every Thursday night at ten, and uh, executive producer and content manager of this channel. Give it up for Mister Jose Casa. Boona. There it goes again. Uh, uh, you, you broke you, the you mic. Do- Juan, you did it again. You broke the mic. You faked it out. It's, Break it again. It happens only because of the Zoom call over here, guys. It's not anything doing uh, to do with the microphone. <laughs> Zoom oh, doesn't it, like it you. It does have to do with the microphone. It has to do with the fact that you have Zoom? the lungs of Zoom a wrestling no. announcer, and the microphone cannot handle your power. What Angel Which said. Is why we appreciate every cent that our loved ones uh, donate to our cause, because we need that to buy better hardware. Hi, hello, I'm Jose Casabona. Thank you, Juan, for that awesome introduction. Happy to be here on Wednesday, December 27th. You guys are freaking insane. (laughs) That's why you love us. Yes. Hey, you're friends with us. Yeah. Makes you insane, too. Your family and all that nonsense is craziness. Holy Lord. All right, Jose, I think you know what you need to take care of over here. 
I know exactly what we need to do before we get into the into the meat of the matter, folks. Much like all our other shows on this channel, we are simulcasting on youtube.com slash the Ravens Flock and kick.com slash the Ravens Flock. Hit the subscribe or the follow button on the bottom right corner of your screen. Click the bell icon to enable notifications on all of our content. Leave your questions and comments below. We will answer as many as we can while we're live. And if you wish to go above and beyond to support the Ravens flock, then you can become an inner flocker, whether it be YouTube or Kick. Uh, for $4.99 a month, you'll have access to all the perks that comes with being a member. Juan, tell them. Well, for all the inner flockers we've got in our chat, and I know we have plenty, go ahead and show off those lonely membership badges and custom emojis, letting everybody know that you have stepped up, you have joined our crew, you're helping us out in the in uh, the uh, the uh, most consequential ways you know how, and that is by helping us become full time YouTubers and break away from the soul crushing, foot dragging abysmal hell that is late stage capitalism and that's keeping us from being able to live free as freely as we deserve because this has been a nightmare it has been an absolute godless mess it has been insane uh, your with your help we'll be able to break uh, free of that uh, you also get access to members first and members only content a special discount to our merch store link in the description below and you also get access to us the Ravens flock your favorite Motley Crue nerds here to make your voice our mission by providing us your thoughts your input your feedback your ideas on how to better shape the future of this channel to suit your tastes and needs saying hello to Nikki Bella Mr. Geek Me Out Merry Christmas Mr. Geek Me Out uh, Tirana Villanueva uh, Project Metal Music Ben Cruz in the chat hey up there Ben Cruz welcome to the Black Files uh, Matthew Coburn and let me see here and Gene Rick over here have to work tonight so we'll be popping in and out. Hello, everyone. Uh, let's hello, see. hello. And also, Juan is right. I actually did check out the our YouTube feed just now where he introduced me. And yet, no, the mic didn't cut off. So I concede. It's just from the... It's just from Zoom. the Zoom. It's, it's, it's from, from the Zoom. Zoom. Oh, okay. As a matter of fact, I could probably adjust the thingies on it if I really wanted to. Uh, yeah, if I, I mean, if a, you really wanted to. But I right mean, now... Like, I mean, if I adjust the kind of... thing, then it'll do a thing. And you don't have to want it's not a priority yeah i muted your youtube so i'm watching you yeah. but i can hear you only through zoom <laughs> okay that's fine. Up. yeah if you're hearing through zoom then that's fine that's what uh matters here uh let me see um let's see here um it's gonna be quite an interesting night it's gonna be a roller coaster for sure with what we're gonna talk about and juancho uh, considering a lot of stuff that we're going to need to get into, there's going to be layers and layers to the story. You're going to need all the help you can get. You're not wrong. I'm going to need every single bit of help. Why do you think I'm doubling up on my, uh, um, on my, uh, caffeine intake tonight? I've got my zero sugar Pepsi and I'm also, uh, topping off with a little extra glitch energy over here, uh, which is a proud, uh, partner of the Ravens flock. And yes, this program is also, uh, uh, brought to you in part by Glitch Energy. Go to glitchenergy.com. Use our promo code FlockFuel to get 20% off of your purchase. And uh, I'm seriously still loving the Foxy Lemonade flavoring. I I get it. I love it. But I, I would... My kingdom for a tub, a tube, a container, a jar, if you will, of, of nerdies. I would I, I need nerdies in my life. Yes. I see, actually want see, to... doesn't it taste so good? Mm -hmm. it tastes so good. I actually Love that want nerdies to one. You know, I actually want to or I'm actually curious now and I want to order the new supplemental product that they have, the glitch blue scope. Because if it's true if it's Ooh. true and if it does help with eye sores, and then I definitely I want to try it. I strained and I definitely want to try try it out myself. Yeah, it helps. It's made entirely of oh, yeah. pants. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, what do you call it? It's a, a supplement in order to help with the, uh, uh, with your eyes in order to be able to uh, better, uh, uh, better adjust to uh, blue light from blue computer light. screens and cell phone screens mm -hmm. and all that good jazz. Uh, but yeah, definitely. Like, Angel, so since you, Angel, since you're on the computer a lot, you could definitely benefit from blue scope. Honestly, I could use some of that in particular. It does sound pretty tasty. Well, it's definitely promising, so I'm definitely putting that on my list. And it's rather affordable on its own, only $19.95. Uh, so if you go on there, it, uh, you'll get 20% off. So that'll knock it to just on, uh, just around 15 bucks if I uh, uh, 15, 16 bucks if I'm doing my math correctly. Uh, Considering yeah. the size of those stones, that is a very generous portion. Oh, or yeah, definitely. Practically mm -hmm. away for free over here. 
<laughs> so yeah, definitely check it out, folks. Glitchenergy.com. Use our promo code FLOCKFUEL for 20% off. Like I said, all their gaming energy uh, blends are delicious, and they come with zero sugar, zero carbs, zero calories, and zero crash. You're going to love it, folks. Glitchenergy.com. Thank you very much for the, uh, partnering with the Ravens Flock. Now you got to live with it. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, let's go ahead and get to the nitty gritty. Last week, the reason we were gone, we told you guys already, we were out and about. Uh, we had hit the road to Holiday Matsuri, uh, which is one of our favorite conventions to go to. Uh, the single largest uh, like holiday-themed convention uh, you can think of. And it celebrated its final year being held at the Orlando World Center Marriott in Orlando, Florida. Uh, that's as right. you can see here, these uh, as you can see here, uh, the folks at Hallmat, yes, that's what the cool kids call it. They call it Hallmat, you know, abbreviations, G, word up. Word. Wait, did somebody, <laughs> hold on, was somebody being uh, uh, clandestine in in this video of uh, hold on, because I'm like this little video they got there. There's Alejandro Saab. One of the uh, uh, guest uh, voice actors, uh, a man of a million characters, uh, and also Shallot from Dragon Ball. Ha! So sweet. And uh, like the uh, but sorry, but the the shot they got of him was so uh, it, it was so under the radar here. Like, look at the guy. Like, okay, the 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 the. the they, it, there was very quickly, not even a second, of him autographing someone, and it's like from a distance. It's like were they were were they trying to do oh were they trying to pull a page out of our book, all right? Because we're the ones who are supposed to be you know like super clandestine and secretive when we want to get a candid shot. We time uh, to pull, pull out the Genshin character he wanted and they have never got over it. Like uh, like we got that uh we 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 got that uh the allegedly uh the appearance of uh John Barrowman when he was at Tampa Bay Comic Con last year and uh he was and we were live streaming and he was secretly like shh I'm not on the floor yeah <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was our bag man why are the <laughs> official like media people for these events being all freaking secret super spies. Now the because there is nothing the worse on earth than the paparazzi. Mm. No, we're supposed to be paparazzi. I'm your no, biggest fan. No, we are journalists. Get us you love me. Papa, excuse you, sir. Paparazzi. Excuse me, sir. Out. We are gone so fucking journalists here. Okay. We did not go through all this shit we call paparazzi. Do you see me climbing fences and sneaking into people and invading their private lives and yes. sliding them into interviews? Yes, but you don't because I'm a fucking professional. You see, you contradict yourself like nine different ways there. No, I didn't. You're just high. Stop taking drugs, one. <laughs> I can't. Uh, number oh, one, boys. I can't take <laughs> drugs anymore. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> four, and this is the much more important one. Even if I were taking drugs, I wouldn't tell you. I'm not. That just means you're not taking the right ones. Ah, the leader. He makes you behave like a crazy man. His own insane operation of the theater of the village idiot. It was a fifth rick in there. It was crazy. They were putting shoes on the gators. They were crazy people, and they killed the pope. Dear Lord, dude. You're getting way too into yourself over here, Angel. God Almighty, you got you got to. In my defense, half my stomach is filled with cough syrup right now. Oh no! Oh my God. Well, I guess we can blame the cough syrup then. Fine, the cough syrup is making you more uh, irrational and weird than you already are. So freaking whatever. For the record, the words cough syrup have very heavy quotations on. You're just drinking. Cough you're just syrup. Drinking, uh, uh, rum, aren't you? No Whiskey. goodness. I'm not drinking rum, I'm drinking tea. A very strong tea, mind you. Okay, yes, fair warning. Tea many, with quotation marks. How many things can I combine Terraflu with before it becomes dangerous to my health? Oh, dear God, Angel. Because I got to start and I don't know when I'm supposed to stop. <laughs> Who's Stephen LeBron over here? Because they're saying send the cops to Angel. Who is this Stephen LeBron? Who are you, Steve? Are you working with a fuzz? Are you wearing it's a, a wire? Are you checking for wires? <laughs> Pull down his pants and stick up his phone. I want to find batteries. Show us your badge. Okay. I always see that's the problem. LeBron James, his more successful brother, he could never get over that shit. 
you have to find a way to survive in the top streets of Florida. Well, you're not wrong. Uh, like, like now, we had originally been going to Holiday Matsuri for the express purpose of normally just doing what would you what you would have seen over here. Uh, yeah, a, yeah. A fun time had by all. Uh, getting to meet different uh, uh, cosplayers, getting to see different events, attend different events as well. Um, like uh, uh, get photos, get videos of stuff, which we had, uh, which we were able to do. Um, and uh, and for the most part, like there was a, a, a loads of fun that was had. Um, sadly, there is going to be one overarching story that's going to be uh, overshadowing all overshadowing of this. Overshadowing a lot of it, which is fucking depressing. Alas, bullshit. It's a shame though because the majority of the time the event went fantastically. There was a bit of a better sweet feeling in the air about the event because this is the last one we're going to have here. As you guys know, unfortunately, the Marriott Hotel has declined to renew the contract due to the fact that, well, they need more money. And the club could not give them money. This resulted in a bit of a rush show and uh, very divisive news that the club, instead of taking place during the usual Friday, Saturday, and Sunday status, will instead take place during Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, resulting in a lot of scrappable plans, lots of vacation days being taken last minute, and a lot of people are essentially calling Bro, why? And the call going, sorry, bro, we had no other choice. That being said, I will give props to the organizers of the con. They managed to still deliver a solid performance all around, at least in my personal opinion. Under the circumstances that they were dealt with, I will uh, I will agree that the staff of the convention uh, can, uh, managed to pull through under uh, under stressful uh, accommodations from the uh from the venue because let's not let's not kid ourselves here one of the big things that uh was the driving force towards the orlando world center marriott deciding not to host holiday matsuri anymore is basically the rambunctiousness of the attendees um uh, with the orlando world center marriott and the uh convention complex uh being adjoined in one whole uh complex on there People were going straight from their hotel rooms into the convention and from the convention straight back in where there were at least no less than three different uh, establishments within the complex where one may imbibe in spiritous beverages. In other words... There was a little shit facing going around. In other words, motherfuckers got crunk. They Mostly. got a little too crunk. They got a little too crunk for their own good. People and were it... literally disturbing the peace. Now, mm -hmm. thankfully, it never got violent or we never had to call the cops and shit, you know. But at the end of the day, it is a public building. You know, there is a lot of tourists and visitors who also want to have a good time. And you got to have consideration for the other people who are sharing the hotel venue with you. This is not a one-man show, as they say. Especially considering that, of course, uh, the hotel itself closes all of their uh the, like the, uh, all of their uh drinkingable establishments uh after 2 a.m and at which point at least in the experiences that i've had uh the orange county sheriff's office was brought in to make sure that once 2 a.m struck uh, the attendees who were still in the hotel lobby and who were still loitering within the convention floor, even though all uh, all of the events were wrapping up and closing, um, they, they they would return to wherever they were lodging because they were closing that the public areas for the rest of the night. Closing time. Oh, One yeah, last call for alcohol. So finish yeah. your whiskey or beer. Closing, Closing time. time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here, etc. Now, um, now, now, for the record, I'm not the kind of guy who wants to poo-poo on anyone's parade. I, uh -huh. it, I personally, if it was up to me, I would handily, happily, and haphazardly, uh, and I would personally let us party. All night long, all night long, all night, all night, all night long. However, I don't own the buildings. 
I don't own the conventions. I don't own the hotels. These guys have rules. We live in a society. All right. It's like the freaking society. War. No, actually, no. The it's the other uh, intonation of we live in a society. We have rules together. It's like okay, exactly. when if it was what's his face, Jim Jeffries, who said like okay, when you're on a plane, you have three seats. You have the window seat, the middle seat, and the aisle seat. Right. The person with the window seat gets the gets one armrest and a view. The person in the middle gets two armrests. And the person in aisle gets one armrest and a little bit of extra leg room. Those are the rules. We live in a society. We're not animals. Right? Exactly. Okay. We gotta behave like we belong. Right. Also, hey up there, Steph the Alter Nerd. How you doing, sister? Oh, wow. Thank you. Appreciate you joining us tonight. Holy cow. Uh, Hi, Steph. I hope you're doing good. Yeah, no, I hope you're doing all right there, Steph. Uh, uh, this is going to be a doozy. Uh, it's a boozy. Doozy. It is going to be a doozy, but like to uh, piggyback off of the the small positive train that we're riding on for now. For now. Yeah, yes. no. Um, <laughs> Hall Mat 2023 was definitely a fun year. I mean, I got a chance. I mean, uh, I got a chance to meet one of the voice act uh, one of the guests who were there at Hall Mat. I got I got to meet voice actress um Erica Lindbeck from Hell of a Boss. Yeah, she was cool. Yeah, and I got her autograph. Yeah, nice. you got her autograph. She Yay! autographed your Luca plush. The, yes. It was so sweet. Absolutely. It was so sweet. Um, and, uh, to answer your question there, Sarah Serenity, uh, we are going to be addressing that very, very shortly. We are going to be addressing that mess. So just stick around, okay? Yes, please. Cause, uh, uh, this one is, a <laughs> this is a problem. Yeah, I know. Like, how 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 much longer can we put it off? <laughs> yeah, we might as well do it now. We're trying to talk about some of the positives. You got to be. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to talk about the positives. You made All right, let's talk about positives. Positive number one: the guests were fantastic. There wasn't a single one that I had an unpleasant uh, like conversation with. They were all yeah. incredibly cool, incredibly professional, incredibly well behaved. They were all yeah. Good, one, you got to meet the Except for Dan Power Rangers, didn't you? He wasn't good. Oof. How do you mean Dante? He Basso? was great. Okay, I was about to. I kind of walked. He was great. Okay, so okay, so I, I walked into that. Um. All right. So putting it simply, uh, Dante Bosco. Okay. Um. We went to. Uh. Oh, one of my favorites, our friend, uh, who, Eliza, who runs the terrible fan fiction reading theater. It's exactly ah. what it sounds like, folks. It's basically, okay, every single bad fan fiction, what she does is she collects some of the worst written fan fictions of every single kind of fandom uh, of, like, freaking uh, uh, Super Mario, of Star Wars, of animes, of uh, freaking... Movies. Movies. They're, they're, one of her favorites is one of Shrek. It's disgusting. I love it. It's Oga Donkey. Actually, yes. Angel. Shrek Donkey it has Shrek never been more ogre than it is now. Actually, Angel, look up Shrek is love, Shrek is life. I did. Then you know it. <laughs> it's I like to read it so I can go to bed while I listen to the Shrek sexual 24 hour company. <laughs> Angel, you've got serious brain juice problems and you need to lay off the pipe. Point is, uh on ter in, in this panel, what she does is she gets the audience members to pantomime out the, the 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 story and she'll like narrate the story and we'll just act it out in front um she called on me to do the voice of yoda for one uh weird uh fanfic where what's his face anakin sees a random person uh like a mugger or whatever beats him down hands him to the cops and then sees a whole crowd of people at a nightclub uh, chanting and it's Yoda getting drunk and making out with bitches and like oh no it's okay to get drunk and make out with bitches young Anakin Urgh. because there, there's no uh, emotional attachment involved that's how we get around that loophole in the Jedi code oh is that so bullshit oh, the path of the horse in the packs. oh actually but a couple of yeah but, so, um shout out to uh, shout out to terrible fan fiction reading. Shout out to uh, uh, let's see, face Emily and Alejandro Saab. Which, by the way, Zayana Rose, Dragon Fang, I've got your autograph <laughs> waiting for you here. 
I'm We're still so happy you that we could have gotten him my joke. Yay. Oh, yeah, and Ben Cruz got his autograph with uh, Emily as well. Awesome. Uh, Yay! Struggler's in the chat. Hey, Struggler, welcome to the Black Files. We appreciate you being here. Uh, Thanks, bro. Yeah, like, that's just one example of, like, the weird, dumb, like, fan fiction readings that uh, uh, Liza likes to do on her traveling panel of uh, terrible fan fiction reading theater. Jose, you went with Michael uh, to, uh, to, uh, to Somnio Strings concert? Yes, uh, me and Michael, we actually went around to a couple of events. We t- attended the Somnio Strings concert. Very awesome, very cool. Um, they're an ensemble uh, based over here in Florida uh, where they perform a lot of songs from uh, different animes and different video games. It was really cool, really compelling stuff. And uh, they also uh, play songs for, based off of movies. Um, one of the songs that they played was, of course, we all know it, from Mulan, that, 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 one, uh, that one song. You know yeah, what's going on. Out of you. <laughs> yep, there you yes. go. That one. Yep. It was really cool. We got down to business and we defeated the Huns. We had sharks and grass and forms. We also went to the uh, we also went to this year's uh holiday and we also went to this year's uh, holiday cosplay competition hosted by Yaya Han, of uh, course. Yeah, that's the Winter Cosplay Championship. It Winter is- Cosplay Championship, thank you. It's not just and, any. It's not just any sort of cosplay contest. These folks actually go in, and they're uh, the the they uh, the, some of the winners, like the best in shows, actually get like held on to afterwards, so that they can help out in like international competitions over here. We've got people coming in from Norway, people coming in from Africa, people coming in from Australia, uh, people coming in from different parts of the world who are into the geek, who are into geek and, and, and nerd them and cosplays. And it's really I awesome. the previous yeah. contest. They, they, they posted out some seriously sick costumes the last time. Well, Hazel- absolutely. And this year they had some really good, uh, they had some really good contestants as well, uh, putting up, uh, not just the cosplays, but also, you know, um, uh, Demonstrate like putting on putting on their shows, you know, like whether it's dancing or whether it's acting out a skit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's really fun, and you know what? Extra kudos for Toy Slasher for coming in uh, for, for coming through in a clutch and helping us out in this channel. That is true. Unfortunately, due to the fact that the world has decided that I have to suffer during after the first day of the con, I came down with the nastiest flu you can possibly imagine. Like shit, completely knocked me to the ground. Which means that most of my chagrin, I spent about 60% of the time I would have been in the con, bed reading, and trying not to freaking die. Okay. Yeah, Angel, that's one of the life that's one of the life moments where you gotta question yourself, am I really built different? Yes, because I didn't <laughs> die. Also, so Lisa Boo, <laughs> Lisa Boo, welcome to the Black Files. Um, Thank you, Lisa Boo. Also, yeah, but getting back to also, it, um Okay, real quick, I got it to say two things. Number one, Angel. Your coughing kept me up like nobody's fucking business. It was ah. horrifying. I, I like. I wish I was exaggerating. I really do, and I'm not trying to shit on you on this, but like, I really, really wish you could suffer more quietly because <laughs> it was, it was terrible. <laughs> right up against my ear, even though you were on a separate bed. And it was horrible, man. <laughs> Good. Oh. See, I slept like a baby exactly because of that. Your suffering kept me asleep. No, what kept you asleep was the fact that I'm a freaking uh, a nutball. Oh, you know, the, the several dozen pills you gave me. Yeah, I loaded you up with so much pain medicine and Dayquil and Nyquil that, which, by the way, I like normally, normally at these conventions, I I make a point. As part of our packing to have like emergency over the counter medications available for folks, uh, is uh, is like as a contingency because you know sometimes folks get dehydrated or they have migraines or they have headaches or whatever. So, freaking, we I pack Tylenol, Pepto Bismol, I pack freaking aspirin, I pack freaking uh, day- Nyquil, but I didn't have any Dayquil for his ass. I did. It's all right. So, the sheer combination of drugs you popped into my system kept me alive long enough. No, no, and I really yummy food. food. And yummy food. Guys, guys, and yummy food. Oh, yeah, no. Kudos to K-Storm, by the way, because Indeed. another thing that is a killer at these conventions is 
The Hunt for Food. It the is, Hunt for Food. It is a nightmare to try. Let's not lie to ourselves, guys. That shit can get expensive. Let me just give you no, one That example. is true. I took our little bit who was with us uh, to g- grab some uh, some lunch uh, during uh, during the convention when I took them down to the video game room. Um, and what they did uh, and what they did uh, was we uh, they ordered themselves a cheeseburger with French fries and uh, and a soda for themselves. I ordered a slice of pizza, uh, an order of chicken tenders for uh, for my kid and I to split. And a cup of uh, a pair of ice cream, soft serve ice cream cups. Guess how much all of that came up to, folks? How much? Thirty bucks. Thirty. I wish. Fifty. Forty-eight. That was close. (laughs) That is almost a double ice cream cup. What the hell? (laughs) Yeah. I mean, it's Orlando. It is the Marriott Hotel. It's gonna be expensive. So basically, if you're not broke by going, you know, paying for the hotel and going to Artist Alley and the vendors, it's the food that'll get you. Yeah. Not just the food, specifically, the food trucks in particular. Jeez. I, do. I know, but they have such good goodness. food. They really have a lot of good food. They really they do, and, then, and I'm God glad damn. that you guys... And, and I'm glad that you guys actually brought this up because I actually do want to segue. One food truck in particular that I do want to mention is uh, actually one run by one of my friends over here. I'm trying to pull up the name. Bear with me, folks. This will only take a minute. They have some damn good Hawaiian shirt seeking. Seriously, Randy went to a, a, a wet, dirty minded yeah. right away. Jesus All right, Christ, here we go. Uh, no, hold on. Because yeah, Sarah Serenity guys, over here in, come on. in the chat right. is like, give me just two seconds. Because Sarah Serenity over here, she was saying, like, um, like freaking, uh, what do you call it? She's saying, like, oh, I'm sure seeing me on stage would keep y'all awake. Uh, strip, uh, sh- Stripping on stage would keep you guys awake. So oh, well. Nice. And then she's like, Nutball loaded you up. OMG, it's a porno now. Dr. Juan needs a nurse to administer medicine in his weenie. What okay, the fuck, okay. Oh There is a remedy. Okay, you need to chill. Seriously, take a chill pill. <laughs> And Green Eye Dragon, Green Eye Dragon, welcome to the Black Files. There was a stomach flu going around. You're not wrong. That's pretty much what I think went uh, went around and happened. And some folks it wound up going into their lungs. By the way, uh, shout out to um, uh, Kitty yeah. Chan Chan, who uh, uh, she's got to need to get antibiotics. Hope she feels better. Not the sickness. So. I, I do have um, a thing about that. Um, yep. From one of our friends, um, their friends have COVID. They tested positive for COVID. So once more, COVID was going around hall map. So get tested. Likely a different variant too. Well, thankfully, all of us here that went to hall map, myself, Juan, Angel Mendez, and the case from Cosplay, and everyone else, um, as far as I know, we're fine. We, we did not catch COVID. We're good. That being yeah, said, honestly. I did want to take a moment to actually mention one of the food trucks. Um, it's called Makanalani's Hawaiian Fusion. It is freaking <laughs> awesome. It's delicious Hawaiian cuisine. Holy crap. I got a chance to finally try it. Um, they're, they're, like their food truck services, like that they go or they go from event to event all over Florida and they're really yummy. Uh, me and Angel, we got a chance to try their, uh, I think it's called the Huli Huli Chicken, which is like a marinated grilled chicken onto some white rice and some delicious macaroni salad. It was pretty good, especially the chicken. They managed to get a nice combination of sweet and tangy without making it too overly spicy. Overall, very tasty. Highly recommended. Hell's yeah. They even have the the... Hell's yeah. They even have freaking boba tea selections, which I want to try out next time. Oh, speaking of... Somewhat related, but my dude, Joe, 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 Oh, nice. That's awesome. They even have one that is made of flan. Okay. Um, we'll definitely have to check it out sometime, but let's get back over on the hall mat subject. Quancho, you still there? I'm still here. Uh, Sarah Serenity sent a little audio message. She wants me to play us. Uh, uh, I, just, no, I don't know. If she, is she going to continue making those little horny thirst uh, comments, man? To answer that question... I don't need to fucking chill. I'm a scorpion. 
so bite me! Some people gotta be proud of their work. I ain't gonna do it. So, uh, so, uh, some folks have different libidos. Uh, but I'm, I'm simply saying, like, please, what the hell? Like, that, like she went way too hard, way too fast over there. We please wait until the special R-rated stream. We get to talk about that stuff freely. That's... Horny jail. That's true. Um, for now, horny jail. Rated. Speaking of horny jail, of... Um, and yes, yeah. is a, uh, the uh, food truck you were plugging over here. What was their name again? One more time. Uh, Ma Kanalani's Hawaiian Fusion. I dropped a five-star review for them on Yelp. Yay. All right. Uh, if you could find a link for the, these guys so I could share it, uh, I'll I'll put it up on in the in the in the uh, chat over here. Um, yeah, not a problem. I'll get to work on it. Yeah. Um, but and, getting uh, but getting on the subject of rated R shit, like uh, something funny I do want to share because there is because uh, you know there are there are also panels and sh shows that happen at night. Um, I actually did attend a. Um, a specific panel. It was funny as hell. I told Angel this, and I told Juan this. Um, it's literally called "Why Would an OnlyFans Model Date You?" Oh God! Why should? Why should an OnlyFans? Why should model they? Date Why you? should they? Why should they? Yeah, and it's just a, a bunch of guys going on stage, and they have thirty seconds. To, to 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 plead their case about why an OnlyFans model should date them, and it was so hilarious to see these guys like fumble on the mic or just try to come off as being braggadocious with their credentials and everything. I just sat back Man, and laughed. I would have loved to see wow. that. I, I would have <laughs> just seen that and just the amusement. As you can imagine, it was indeed very much cringe and very much not quite poggers. Oh, but it was, it was funny to laugh at. You would have gotten a laugh at it, Angel. Either that or I would have folded into a singularity and die on the spot. Of sheer embarrassment on behalf of other guys trying to act macho and sexy and chad and ultra giga chatalucious when really they couldn't even hold the jockstrap of the wimpiest nerd to ever nerd off. A oh, no, 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 Chad no, no, has no need to show up in such a show. Hang on a minute, Juan. You want Chad? Wait till they hear this. There was this one guy. Who I kid you not, might be Angel's height, might be Juan's height, a little bit in between. Caucasian, has a shaved head, uh, like a crew cut. He was wearing a white jacket. He went on stage, and I kid you not, he started bragging and boasting about, and I say, and I'm and I'm verbally saying this in quotations, his military background. Half he was of me bragging thinks that he was role playing. Half of me thinks he was stupid enough that he was genuine. He was bragging about how he was uh, used to be part of the army and how he would defend his girl just like he would defend his country. Uh, lots of military hoorah st uh, speech that he said there. And then he finished it off by yelling, Semper Fi. No! I swear so to God that dude was doing it. Homeboy was pretending to be a Marine. No. I, I swear to God that man was either insane or doing a bit. <laughs> That that sounds like someone um you want who is a I used to know. Name. Now you're just somebody that they no. used to know. Come on over, K Storm. Oh, yeah, it, it does. Come on over, K Storm. In slightly nicer departments, K -Storm. though, the dealer's room has some Where's surprising the situations. So. All right, K Storm is joining us because, uh, quite frankly, I'm tired of her trying to uh, trying to give her opinion without uh, actually being on the program. Hi, honey. Hello. Hey, Hi, what's up? Hello. One yes, yes, straggler. Stolen valor. St uh, stolen straight, valor. Straggler. Uh, straight possibly. up. No, straight up. Stolen valor. Because no army person would qu say simplify. That's a marine thing. That's a marine thing. And any military person would not be bragging like that. No self-respecting military mean, person would be bragging like that. No. Okay, no, yeah, that, def that definitely sounds like someone I know. I'm specifically <laughs> referencing no. no military person would be bragging themselves like that. If you do that kind of shit around a commanding officer, they're going to drop you in five seconds flat. Unfortunately, I kind of know from experience. <laughs> Dear God. The, the, she knows what's up. I can, like... Because I am former military. Like I, I like proudly, I will say my lovely, beautiful, gorgeous, beautiful wife, K Storm, is former uh, military. If she really needed to, she could myrtleize me, 
but she doesn't need to. I don't want yeah, to. I, I, yeah, I trust Hello, K-Storm with Sarah. my life. All right. Yeah, no, I trust K-Storm with my life over this Caucasian shaved headed, verbally vomiting idiot. Exactly. Well, more you know the military news. or not? On slightly more positive news, at least, the dealer's room had a surprisingly solid selection of materials and merchandise alongside the guests. Uh, my little friend over here, Michael, actually managed to grab himself a couple of uh, cinnamon roll mascots that normally would have costed way more online. I got himself, a, also, I told him, you do know this thing is mostly in Japanese, right? And he goes, yeah, but I want to know what it's like. So now I own like seven more visual novels and I have no idea what any of them mean. What the <laughs> fuck? He's going the into weed double. territory, like, backwards. He's supposed to. Also, I'm not gonna lie, guys. That melon bread was busting. That what was busting? That melon bread was the shit. Oh, the melon bread you bought. Okay, yeah, no, that, it that was that was awesome. Really tasty. The way they get... Oh, now I want to try on it. Now, um, what do you call it? Uh, since we're sticking around on the train of the... Uh, of the adult fair, um, one uh, one event that I did manage to go to for the first time after so much hopla and hullabaloo was the competition hottest men in anime. Yeah, I remember that. Ooh, one. Yes. Yeah, it's basically it's ex exactly what it sounds like. Basically, uh, the idea is this: dress up like uh, uh you you come in cosplay as whoever uh, as whatever character as long as it's a man uh in anime uh you go ahead and put on whatever kind of sexy performance you think uh works best and uh you know hottest ones win and uh th there was different judges in that as well uh yaya han she she's she busts her ass she was judging that too she was like okay there was one that just kind of stole the show for her i don't remember because i got the video on my phone which is a thing that I'm also kind of uh, a little bit uh, about, but that's neither here nor there. Um, because I know that there's a bil billions of different folks who actually go into these competitions who explicitly don't want to be photographed or videographed. But the problem is, is that the uh, event staff don't really have a... Uh, hard barrier on that uh, now, uh, when it comes to there, that's usually what we ask for permission we don't want to overstep our yeah. boundaries which is why i tried to keep the recordings that i got to the i wouldn't say the tamest versions of it because ain't nothing tame about the dance moves these guys were pulling out uh it was really steamy it was really sexy uh they were busting out the sick moves sexual style they were the white boys that can do it with the sauce um, like, but I, I, let me say, I would, I, I tried to keep the, the ones that are most safe from work, uh, safe for work on here as best as possible. Um, yeah, now, you know, no, we no, ask permission on that shit, we are polite. Would, now, Cosplay Deviants, uh, Stephen LeBron over here, by the way, uh, Cosplay Deviants, that's another group of, uh, of, uh, adult themed, uh, cosplayer ladies. Uh, and it's very sexy. Uh, but the issue on that is like they're very much no no on any sort of recording or photos during a lot. I'm of gonna events. have to interject here, Wancho, because that turns out that is not the case. Because uh, I attended the 18 plus cosplay deviance contest, and the host said that yeah, you can, uh, you can, you can, you can record videos and take photos all you want as long as you hashtag cosplay deviance. Oh. And now, personally, like guys, I'm say, yeah, and now I'm going to say this right now. I did not take any photos or videos of the competition at all, and I was shocked and surprised that they allowed this when normally that's not something you would do because a lot of the these performers, you know, <clears throat> they actually ha they have uh, they have real they life have day you know, jobs. They have day jobs, yep. real, day, day, the daytime And they occupation. can get fired so quickly if that were to get out. So, mm -hmm. the, yeah, that is one point of criticism that I uh, that I have with uh, Cosplay Deviants. To be fair, though, this is not the kind of thing that they would just bust out without the performers knowing. It sounds like the kind of thing that they may have talked over them and they decided that the promotions and the popularity they would get from it might be more important than the risk. It, it's the kind of thing that management has to run to the performers or you run the risk of having them walking out on you. 
that's the only reason I could think of for them to justify a, 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 um, being a, being lax on the rules. It's because they want to get more eyes on cosplay deviants. Well, they're going to get eyes, all right. But uh, um, there's a there's a saying over here. Um, you're going to get what, exactly what you want. Just be sure you want what you're going to get. Because well, if you want a bunch of eyes on cosplay deviants, and if there's... You're going to get a bunch of eyes there. Now, there's no way of telling what the consequences of set of what the eyeballs of the people of the, where those eyeballs belong to would be. Like, as they said, if they're if someone's employer... Uh, and like, oh well, you're doing uh, you're doing pornography. You're get, get you're you're done. Like, this isn't pornography. Like, they're like the 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 performers were all pasted up and like just in like lingerie style shit, right, Jose? Uh, mm-hmm. yes, they were all pasted up. They were in lingerie style. Nips of covered. course, they were taking off. No yeah, of course, they were crouching. taking off clothes, but that is to be expense. Uh, that is to be expected. Well, yeah, it's R. It's eighteen. You know, there's limits to how far we can push it. Before they actually gotta call the cops. That being said, considering also that the show itself is moving to where, where, where's the show going to again? Oh, uh, the convention. Well, Matt is moving over to the Orange County Convention Center. They might be using that as a form of promotion as well, because I mean, for all we know, it's possible this is the last time those particular actors will be many of them will be able to work there. Some of them, many of those performers are locals. You know what I mean? They're not going to get their ass all the way to Orange County. Some of them might not be able to do it. That is a possibility, Angel. And we're going to come back to that point a little bit later as we get into the episode. But yeah, that's just a little warm up for those who are waiting for us to spill the... Well, I don't want to say spill the tea, but actually talk uh, about some... Drop the pipe bomb, as it were. Drop the pipe bomb. Something got spilled, all right. It sure as hell wasn't tea. Yeah, no. it, it, It wasn't tea. Now, um... That being said, um, we did enjoy ourselves at the convention uh, for the time that we did uh, go on here. I managed to get plenty of videos of folks. I managed to uh, uh, say hi to Allison Tabitha, uh, which, by the way, shout out to Allison Tabitha, one of the best like costume or makeup uh, cosplayers I've seen in forever and a day. Uh, she was dressed as the White Witch from Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, complete with the crystal, like, wand and the white polar bear skinned cape. You know, That's cool. For a cape on there. And like, I was like, am I, I'm almost afraid to touch it because, like, it feels like it's real fur. And she's like, I, I'm like, is that thing heavy? And she's like, yeah, no, it's okay. I got this. And we shot the shit for, like, a good five minutes while uh, her line was building up. I'm like, I feel kind of bad. Uh... Because other people are waiting to get her autograph and stuff like, but we're talking. We're saying, what am I supposed You're, to do? Like, you oh, want, you do love to talk. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I do love to talk. Uh, K Storm and I and Jose, we got dolled up for the benefit ball. Uh, we made away with a shitload of cookies from the benefit ball. Uh, and our money went to a good cause. Uh, let's see here. Uh, now, we do have to get to the elephant in the room. Yes, and the I big, hate... big, giant elephant. The okay. big, okay. giant, not all the procedures were stealth elephant. procedures. Which means I must once again invoke our obligatory disclaimer. Go all for right? it. This portion of the program is going to be discussing allegations involving several people who may have been harmed through ingested chemical means. I will get to the details on that shortly. At this time, without any one particular person stepping forward to give their own testimony or someone else on behalf of, uh, of the person coming forward with their own specific testimony that I can cite on here, I cannot in good faith say, oh, this person went through this or this person went through that. However, I must say that this is a very disturbing story that we're going to bring up for this portion of the program. Listener discretion is advised. It involves drug use. It involves potential SA. I cannot stress this shit enough. 
and YouTube human reviewer, I know that you're going to probably listen. You're probably not because you don't like the Raven's flock. We're listen. We're telling you right now, YouTube human reviewer, listen to this part carefully. No one on this channel, no one in the Raven's flock in any way, shape or form ever condones, celebrates or glorifies the use of drugs against people for either the lulls, you know, for the f- sake of watching them bumble and see themselves vomit or whatever, or f- in order to commit SA upon that person. No one at all in this channel, past, present, future, ever condones that shit. We condemn it 150 million percent of the time. What we are doing now is we are reporting on the story that we are, though, to the best of our knowledge. These are developing stories. There are other people who are coming forward as this is developing. And in the future, should any new developments come out, we will uh, 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 we will uh, 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 adjust our reporting of it accordingly. We're merely working with the information we're being given right now. So, you have been duly warned. Did I cover our ass enough, Jose? Oh, fearless leader. No, 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 Juancho. Is that was ass- a very good dis- You're good, Juancho. That was a very good disclaimer, and you did throw in the trigger warning. So, yes, we're good. Our status thoroughly covered. Cannot be more covered than this at this point, I think. Okay. So, the elephant in the room is that... Uh, uh, several people throughout the weekend at Holiday Matsuri have reported having been uh victims of being roofied by yeah. others at the convention, and they are. There is even reports of people being. Essayed, like I said, uh, uh, sexually assaulted, which is fucking horrifying. Indeed. As a result, now mm-hmm. the particular issue became known somewhere on the last day, in particular, where the general public became aware to the fact that a young lady was found unconscious in the elevator. Oh, of that the wasn't on the last the... day. That wasn't on the last day. I think this is the. Part. I think I need to step in and actually provide some details, Angel. Yes. So here's the thing. All right, so on, and I'm trying to remember vividly. Yeah, I remember now. It was Thursday night. I was walking back to the hotel room from the video gaming room. Uh, Angel, as I recall, you were waiting in line for karaoke. Am I correct? Yeah, it was pretty fun. All right, so stick into the story. As on my way back to the hotel room, I came across a group of con goers who are walking. They were frantic they were scared they were panicking they were trying to tell other folks to to head back to their rooms and they were and and they were like they were trying to like they were talking like they weren't whispering so they were talking loud enough for me to hear and i'm just like i didn't it wasn't my intention to eavesdrop i was we were just walking in the same direction and i was like confused as to like what they're talking about one of the guys told me that a woman was found passed out in one of the hotel elevators. The service elevator, to be exact. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, Needless to say, this resulted in some serious, uh, well, worry spreading throughout the con, and the cops were called in, which began the first round of investigations, which explains why during the last day, there was straight up like a... The ambulance, like right there. Yeah. Unfortunately, now, what we thought was just a one-time thing turned out to be much more discussed and multiple-time thing, as it appears that either one or multiple people have been responsible of slipping illicit substances into people's drinks to take advantage of them. So far, we don't have a specific number of how many people were affected or how many suspects they have. The information is dicey, but we were seeing the sheriff and uh, police department running around the last day of the con and reviewing what appears to be footage pretty much non-stop 
at that point. Right. And then after I went to bed, and then I believe a couple of hours later, Juan, you shared some important information with us uh, internally um, on our group chat, right? I believe so. Uh, this is where I'm uh, trying to find the info that I shared with us uh, to have it on hand not a problem not a problem i can always double i can i can double back and look for you yeah you, okay? you, 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 you we are a unit we are a team juancho so give okay. me a minute here we go okay so here's a thingy um and here's another thingy uh you're not you're gonna love this bullshit uh where is it here we go because i'm finding exactly where this all went Come on, where is it? Where are we a holiday? Uh, some of the existence is pain. Uh huh. Uh-huh, right. Uh huh. Yeah. Check the group chat. I just replied to it. Okay, you just replied. That helps. Thank you. Because look, 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 mega yikes. Attachment unavailable. It got, dele- it got deleted. Oh. Hell. Hell. No, hang on a minute. Let me take a look. Nope. It's. It still should be there. No, hmm. it got deleted. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing it. Okay, I'm not seeing yeah. it either. Yeah, no. I, I, I clicked on it, and yeah, no. It just shows me. Sorry, this page isn't available. Shit. Yeah, okay. it's gone. Uh, Ooh. Damn. It's okay because mind you, it is possible the information was deleted due to information that has been updated. Like I said, we are literally just reporting on this as we go. Kind of feel. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now. uh... A lot of this was being brought up by uh, uh, by another group who go to conventions. They're temporarily on hiatus. This is a group known as Cosplay Black Book. Uh, they're primarily on Instagram, and uh, what they uh, what they do is uh, they uh, are basic. Uh, they basically uh, say that they're out to expose bad cosplayers. Um, now these guys have been uh, saving the information with what was going on at home uh, at home at, um, and they will they they have been uh, bringing up the the story as it's been going on. Uh, Juan, I actually took a screenshot of the thing, so if you want to take a look at it, go right ahead. What what, 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 what screenshot is is it in the, the screenshot group? of the post that was taken down? It's on the it's on the group chat. I found it. Oh, you found it. Yeah, give a second. You're probably gonna have to crop a little bit, you know, to leave out some. Yeah, down yeah. give me a second. Not that, not that. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Not you, this thing. Uh, come on. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, that was that. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay, so we shared it on our story over here. Give me a minute. I think I can pull it up if I pull up our stories over here. Give me a second. Let me do a thing. I'm go- uh, going to do a thing, and you can't stop me. Okay, go ahead, man. You can't stop me. I'm doing a thing. Nobody's going to stop you. Dang, Good, man. What, you you, what, you think Angel, what, you think Angel's going to walk over to our house and get you sick again? I mean, my car is right there. I mean, like he five could. Minutes away from me. He <laughs> could. <laughs> he would. I mean, I suppose I could, but I got to work tomorrow. I mean, I ain't got time to, like, I'll infect <laughs> everybody else in my office. <laughs> I could commit war crimes today, but I got, I got work to do tomorrow. Sorry. Yeah, no, we're, we're okay. We're trying to, uh, we're trying so hard to try to bring some levity into this monstrosity, but it's okay, genuinely I'll a shame just... that they have to be the sour note to such a fun event. Because I don't know you guys, but until this last time, I was genuinely having a great time, including all the parts I had to spend in bed halfway unconscious. I was still having fun. The fact that some jackass had to go and ruin it for everybody like this. I mean, there there's always a jackass, but these are this is beyond jackass. These are criminals. Jail time yes. now. The post that Cosplay Black Book uh, put up, I think they put it up and they pulled it down because it was from when the con was going on. Like, okay, the con's over. This alert doesn't need to be out anymore. Uh, but thank you for catching that uh, screenshot when you did, Jose, because goddamn. All right. Screenshot on it reads, emergency alert. The situation has gotten dire. Cases of people getting roofied are popping up almost within minutes of each other. And we've gotten reports of a potential death as a result of this heinous crime. Holy please, shit. Uh, please stick to your groups. Toss your drink. Be on high alert. Be prepared to protect anyone. Police are on the move at con. 
Now, again, we have to stress here, folks, this was put out during the convention. This was put out Thursday night, or rather Thursday, right? All right, is this one? Uh, yeah, this was uh, this was put out uh, Thursday evening slash Friday morning, late late Friday morning. Yeah, no, Thursday evening. Uh, th- that's what it was going on because it was it was trying to warn people of something that was presently happening, and like we said, this was these guys were working on information uh, as it was coming out with very little chance to corroborate because everything was happening in real time. Um, so grain of salt, especially with the, uh, thing of someone, uh, uh, having been, uh, uh, unalived. However. Yeah, we don't have solid proof on that one, so let's not jump to the worst conclusion just I, yet. I believe I, I saw records that they are in the hospital. They are stable. They did not. Yeah. Die. That's what I've been seeing posted around. Maybe they had an allergic reaction to the drugs. Maybe. Where, where I I think it was actually on I no I think it's it was on the Hallmat uh Facebook group. In the Facebook See. group on, of of Hallmat? Okay. Yeah, but they've also been uh, uh I think some comments were being deleted. So I'm not sure I can find it, but I will start scrolling and see right. if I can yeah. find as that. Best, as best you can. Um let me see here. Thank while, you. while we're doing while, live research here. While we're doing that, yeah, and you're right, folks, live research, courtesy of the Raven's Flock. Thank you, Xana Rose and Dragonfang. Now, while this was going on, someone actually had pulled up on Reddit under the subreddit R slash out of the loop. And I wish I could make this up. Uh uh, the 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 question on it reads: What's going on with people getting being drugged at Holiday Matsuri Con? I'm like, it's it's so cringy when you call it Holiday Matsuri Con. It's Holiday Matsuri. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Title is the question. Apparently, a large number of attendees of the convention were drugged, and the convention has a history of being unsafe. Does anyone know why slash if it, uh, it was a targeted thing? Source. People in the comments are saying multiple people were hospitalized because entire water jugs were roofied and that the convention has a history of sweeping sexual assault under the rug. Uh, yep. Now, to clarify this, as far as the, uh, what do you call it, is concerned... <laughs> As far as the water jugs are concerned, in all the panel rooms, in all the ballrooms on there, you have water jug stations, you know, water coolers, where you, they have little plastic cups set beside big ass, you know, water cooler like you'd get in a, for, for an office, right? The, right. The going, the, the story that was going around is that apparently some of those water jugs were somehow getting drugged. Which is a pain in the ass to try to pull off because if anyone I always knows, watched. If, like, if anyone knows, you try to change out a uh, water, uh, like one of those water, uh, water cooler jugs, and if you try to do anything in it without there being a way for you to like cap it before pulling it up, you're just going to end up with a gigantic watery mess everywhere. Yeah. yeah, and there's also I the fact that 90% believe, of the, yes. yeah, I the believe, fact that lots of, oh, sorry, they meant to interrupt. Go ahead. Oh, I said I believe that the only way they could have done that is by using a syringe, which mm-hmm. could explain why some people weren't being as affected because they would only have been ingested a bit unless they drank a crap ton of water. Yeah, um, or um, so that's a potential. Now. Uh, again, folks, uh, this is completely based on rumor and innuendo. However, the alarming amount of people uh, ha- having reported being sick or feeling afflicted from be- feeling drugged is too big to ignore. So, like, there, like, there's no if if there is a uh, like there, there's too much smoke for there not to be a fire. Um, and there was literally one person in here who was saying, uh, 
on here. Uh, oh, Red Dead J uh, answering in that Reddit answer. Basically, reports were coming out from the rave as of Wednesday night, the first night of the convention, that people were showing signs of being roofied, mostly females, going to the hospital, fainting, etc. People started posting about it all over, asking convention staff via email, Discord, and Instagram comments, and via Discord, it's, uh, uh, convention staff essentially said this was misinformation to stop spreading it until they had confirmation on anything from Orange County Police. These reports continued through Friday during which some folks reported seeing Miles Morales cosplayer slip something into the public water jugs provided for attendees in the halls. Holiday Matsuri social media continued to advertise raves and convention events without ever coming out to address publicly people's concerns and claims. I've paid the, uh, I've attended the convention four years in a row and have always noted to be a party con. It's been a hot spot for issues due f- uh, to that fact. I can't speak specifically as to how safe or unsafe it is as I don't drink and so I don't attend attend any of the after hour parties. However, the big issue a lot of attendees have is the existence of something called the game. From what I've read on social media, it was developed by a group of con attending predators who take it upon themselves to roofie and have relations with girls, and they often target people based on fandoms or characters they're cosplaying. According to some attendees, Holiday Matsuri staff was emailed about these concerns, and they were never addressed anything publicly until after the convention, leaving attendees with a bad taste in their mouths about the organizers. I can't say any of this for certain, I'm just reporting on what I've seen reported online. Source, I attended at as did like 90% of the friends I have in the community. So that pretty mm-hmm. much covers like the cliff notes version of what's, uh, of what's happened over here. Now, as, as the Redditor mentioned in here, there was a uh, someone rather, there was an issue involving what they called the game which was it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a fucking uh, th- a thing that uh, a group of of uh, like well, and there's no need to sugar call it. It's called rape. Yeah. And the people who do this are called rapists, and yes. they deserve to go to hell and die. It really is that simple. And what I certainly understand, while the con heads don't want to just go, yo, dog, the rape gang is here. A bit of awareness on the circumstances would be nice, don't you think? I hope you'll pardon me on this. I'm trying to keep us from being uh, ho- overly thrown in with the uh, uh, with the madness of the fucking uh, of of the of of YouTube human reviewing on here and shit. Because oh, I know, I know. But since we're doing this for the sake of good old fashioned education, we should be able to get away with it because this is the kind of serious things that needs to be addressed. It is true, we don't have all the details, but based on the information, people have gotten hurt. People have gotten seriously hurt, and somebody needs to be brought to justice on that one. You're right, and um, one such person, which, again, this was brought up thanks to uh, the folks that cosplay Black Book, was someone... Thanks, Ray, you did something good for a change. Yeah, I know, Instagram, go figure. Uh... Someone by the name of uh, Mal Bao, a.k.a. Mal slash Kim Cure, who is a suspected member of the group of guys playing the game. Uh, let's see here. Uh, now, uh, there's, uh, they're putting up over here uh, trigger warning, abuse, SA, theft, transphobia, stolen valor, and the game slash list. I would like to add that this individual has been exposed in the past and was notified by con security for Hallmat, Katsukon, and others. In response, he would try to hide his face in tattoos in an attempt to sneak in. So apparently this guy, Malice Cure, or Mal Cure, uh, is this uh, person. Uh, uh, so he's the prime uh, suspect so far. No, not the prime suspect. He's a suspected member of the group playing the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, look at this fucking weird little uh, sub name, uh, subtitle: "Friendly Neighborhood Support Himbo." Fucking gross. Sorry. I don't trust no anybody hell. who calls themselves a himbo. Like who calls gross. themselves a himbo? No thanks. Okay, this is really tiny print. Um, shit. I'm gonna need to find a way to blow this up. Uh, give me a minute, because I have that, and I actually want to send it to ourselves real quick. And I've got to actually, uh, oh, dear God. 
Okay, so I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read off what this actually says on here. Uh, because that's super super tiny print. So I'm gonna put the link for this. Give me a minute. That would be a good idea. Give our people some resources to work with here. Yeah. So anyone who is interested in reading this on their own, they're allowed to do so here on your own time, on your own dime. And I'm going to try to read off what this tiny print fucking says for folks to read on their own. Again, I must emphasize this is rumor and innuendo, speculation, but this it's person has been linked found. to these sort of situations. And I'm going to read off the exact freaking, uh, what do you call it, Pr- uh, uh, post that's on here right now. All right, so you guys can see I have it on here. So, uh, below is a list of dangerous behaviors that victims had witnessed uh, uh, Kim, like his other name, uh, instead of Mal or Malice, uh, uh, the commit at conventions in 2018 Kim claims to have followed another male individual into the bathroom at Hallmat 2018 and slammed his head into the mirror shattering it and giving the guy concussion he proceeded to claim that he beat the guy bloody until the police were called and he ran away and dodged the paramedics for the rest of the convention he had uh, told this story to many individuals and although we are not sure if it is true he constantly gloats about how he was able to get into a fight at Holiday Matsuri and that police and constant were unable to find him or locate him after uh, that uh, this alleged fight if this turns out to be false, spreading such violence, uh, false stories or actions that took place at Holiday Matsuri has made many individuals scared to be around him. At MetroCon 2019, witnesses watched him hold another human being's full upper body over a balcony railing, threatening to shove him over. At 2019... Uh, MetroCon, he forced an intoxicated male into oncoming traffic, threatening that if the male doesn't run through the oncoming cars, he would physically harm him. At MegaCon 2019, he threatened to physically harm individuals. At Hallmet 2019, Kim engaged in a public uh, NSFW photo shoot with a minor of 17 years of age. At Katsukon 2020, a large number of individuals came forward and confronted him about his actions of assaulting women, uh, and he threatened to throw himself over the railings and commit suicide or try to get into a fight with a police officer and spend the night in jail instead of answering for his actions. At Metrocon 2022, Kim attended a party where he's essayed a woman. His entire friend group was present and covered for him. Kim has claimed that him and his friend group got into multiple bar fights and Kim himself even broke a man's jaw with a pool stick. Kim is incredibly manipulative and abusive. He has groomed many younger individuals at conventions and bars into believing he was someone safe and could tr- uh, trust uh, before assaulting, aring, and abusing uh, both physically and financially. He threatens to physically harm individuals and anyone who disagrees with him. Okay, so that's just... uh. What a car. Yes. Okay. That he can go so... to hell. He can absolutely go to hell. Sorry for being so quiet this whole time, but no. wow. He... No, no, absolutely. 100%. This is not... So we have not only guys. He needs who to is... be removed from the con scene. So we not only have a dude that is straight up a danger to himself and other people, we have a repeat <laughs> offender that somehow has not gotten arrested yet. I'm genuinely fascinated that he hasn't pushed the envelope far enough to get himself in jail at this point. But then again, why, why do his friends yeah, think friends that, are, that that is okay behavior for a human there being? Are people like that. Like that actually I know. Exists. It just it just shocks me that people would think that's okay. It's Both not okay. Right. That's another reason it makes me actually. Fun, man. What yeah, about no, shit the- goes down in a con? It's still the kind of thing that should be done with the conservative parties. This isn't just disgusting. It's incredibly disheartening. All they want to yeah. do is go there and have some fun. The last thing they want to do is end up in bed with a stranger they don't know because somebody slipped powder in their drink. And these folk are supposed to be there undiscriminately. If they push to the whole water tank, how many miners do you think that water almost got to? Or did get to? Yeah, right. Um, now, another thing I actually Very do want to add. Yeah, uh, something yes. I do want to add... Uh, folks, um, this uh, this guy here. I think another reason, Angel, why he hasn't been reprimanded by the authorities yet is also because, like, guys like him 
have like these group of friends who will hang on to everything he says. You know, wherever he goes, they follow. I hate saying, I like, I hate. You mean sheep? Yeah, he it's has sheep. sheep. I was gonna say sycophants, but that works just fine. Sycophants works. Yeah. So basically, yeah. So basically, for lack of a better term, and part of me, Juan, for using this in this t instance, there's a cult. Of, he has a cult of personality. Yeah. With a whole bunch of his yeah. sheep. Which, yeah, there's a cult of personality around this wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, no, that seems fitting. And unfortunately, it's the kind of thing that... See, the worst part is, this is the kind of shit that builds a person's ego to make them think that they can get away with anything. And that yeah, makes me... This is the kind of motherfucker that's going to go to jail for a murder in a while. And that's what I'm uh, worried about here, folks. And uh, I'm really... Uh, <sighs> I'm trying not to murder things myself right now because I am beyond fucking furious. <laughs> Give me a minute. I'm actually I'm actually uh, pulling up the rest of the uh, screenshot that I pulled from that same uh, Instagram post here so that I can actually uh, pull it up with you guys. Uh, give me a minute. So. All right. Now, as far as the issue of the game goes, here is uh, what we've got. Um, the game. Uh, and no, for the record, we're not talking about the fun one. Where, oh, you just lost the game? No. These guys are fucking disgusting. <clears throat> the players of the game use... Why did this blink? There we go. The players of the game use conventions as a way to meet men and drug them or get them drunk and hook up with them. It was a competition to see who could sleep with the most people at a con. If you unfortunately engaged in a friendly manner with anyone playing, they would target you and by any means necessary lure t uh, to lure innocent women back into their hotel room. Usually these women would be incredibly intoxicated or manipulated into believing they were going someplace safe. Uh, a player of the game was Devin Aesthetics, a known artist uh, wow. and, so, and someone who is permanently banned from many conventions uh, due to women coming forward about their experiences involving him. Devin uh, Aesthetics and Kim, this guy Mel, uh, were both players of the game and considered each other rivals. They were friends and both engaged in the same revolting and disgusting behaviors. Kim used drugs and alcohol to lure women into a false sense of security and get and safety to get them to trust him and be alone with him. Kim has provided means of intoxication to individuals, both under and above the age of 21, uh, and used the intoxication and confusion to S.A. AFABs and women, uh, both at cons and outside the convention community. Once he has sex with you slash ours you, you are counted as a check mark. At Hallmat 2019, Kim was openly bragging to their friends that they were winning the game. In his words, the biggest slut in the cosplay community. Anime Weekend Atlanta 2019 was a nightmare for many individuals. With the posting of the Rufy list on 4chan and Reddit, multiple women from the Florida cosplay community saw their name on the list. Multiple women were oh drunk God. that night and had to have paramedics called. It was a dangerous and scary time and everyone was terrified, questioning why they were being targeted. Almost three years later, once people came forward publicly about Kim's ab abuses, victims were able to put together the, the list was made by players of the game, and due to their involvement with Kim, we uh, were uh, we were now targets to other players. Even with Devin uh, now being banned from cons, Kim, the other host slash creator of the game, continued. Women and AFABs or safely uh, safety is constantly being threatened uh, 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 because of this individual. At MomoCon 2022, Kim manipulated another individual back into his hotel room and told them that they were still playing the game and that she was just another checkmark and he had uh, SA'd them. This is not a rumor. This is not a made-up story. There are multiple individuals who have come forward after our last post, after either hearing something about this firsthand or knowing someone who used to brag about playing. Oh my god, I want to punch this guy in the fucking mouth. Jesus. I want to punch them all. Let's see oh what kind of it's like. Just an overall septic tank of people in that mess. Let's see. Let's see what kind of uh, game that is. Oh, Mister, I'm so badass. I'm gonna fucking uh, mess you up with a bar, with a pool cue, with a pool stick. I'm gonna, uh, the, I'm gonna get into people's fights and bash their heads into glass. Like, I wish to God that 
I knew of this sooner. Because I guarantee you, we would have been on this shit like white on rice. I don't give a fuck if the, the if the assholes on 4chan or Reddit or if they have their own separate little Discord server where they try to show off any like uh check marks or keep score or god forbid take pictures of themselves to in these acts with these uh, victims. I can only fucking imagine what else these guys fucking did. But I guarantee you we would be all over it and they would not be hidden for long. And I'm well, so see, it's 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 also <clears throat> the fact that people may end up coming forward with things that have happened to them, but the community has been a little toxic in the fact that some people can do allegations that aren't valid. That you know they're doing it for attention and to basically yep. get revenge on someone so and that's the hard. worst thing and yeah and that's the thing it is hard to really weed those out and see the ones that actually happened so i don't know it seems like a lot of people just start to brush things aside and just consider them as rumors and not believe them until all these people start coming forward way down the line saying this happened to me this happened to me not like secondhand things. Oh, well, my friend had that happen. No, like that happened to me on this date at around this time, this con. So it, it is scary because you, you hear these things. You don't think it's ever going to happen to you. Until it does. And it's yeah. like, it I, I remember so far back, away until it isn't. Yeah. And I remember back in the day, this didn't happen. You know, we, we all felt safe. It was nice meeting new people. You didn't just back in get the day. nervous meeting people like this. And yeah, now you have you to be hyper if, they have, if, you know, they're someone like that or if they're a genuine person that, you know, it would be fun to hang around well, with. You and, never and most, know these days. Yeah, and most of these people, they seem very nice and very sweet. And you would never think that they're that kind of person. So it is... Yeah, sincerity. It's, it's 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 scary. Yeah, no, sincerity is a very very easy disguise for anyone to do these days, and it's very difficult to find out who is legitimate. Well, I can tell you now, especially considering this guy has been implicated to be a member of the game or the players or whatever, I guarantee him to you. He better not show his face anywhere around any of uh, these conventions of uh, or I swear to God. I don't know what I do. I really don't. And it's better that's the thing, I actually I never heard of the game before I heard of, you know, yeah, I you lost the game. I knew that uh, that's actually what I thought you were mentioning. I'm like, why are we talking about the game again? Oh, and that. then I read what you shared. I was like, this is a thing. So I didn't even know about it until you guys sent me that stuff. I was like, yeah, same. Neither did I. And I feel like that's a... I like, just think that it happens, like, all that long ago, like, every single year. And not a lot of people knew about it until it came to light now is scary. That's, that's what no. I don't understand. If this has been happening for so many years, why has it not spread to so many people yet? Is it because people keep keep it hush hush? Yeah, people are trying like to um uh downplay it. Yeah, downplay it and then cover it up. Are they threatening the people who've had it happen to them? That's probably it. I wish I knew. That I, that's the, probably it. The only thing that the only reason why I would imagine why it's being why it's only coming out now, or rather why it's only now being brought up in the light, is because it's gotten to a breaking point over here. Because they got bold enough that they basically got it out of hand. This shit, the worst part about this whole thing is that this is mildly organized. These deep shits have plans for this kind of thing. But this right here is indiscriminate. There is too many victims. You can't bury something like this where you literally poison the fucking water supply. They literally poison the water supply. Jesus fuck, this is a SpongeBob episode. 
Real quick, also, uh, I want to say hello to Cyclops the X-Man, who's on the chat. Hey, up there, Cyclops the X-Man. Welcome to the Black Files. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, thank you for joining us here. And uh, he's saying, like, uh, Jesus, every time I come online, I learn of more disgusting things. Thank you, Raven's Flock, for bringing this to light. I am so glad this crap is finally being brought out into the light. Next, we have Jeffy List coming out in the next few weeks. Uh, the downfall of all this is coming. I... Oh yeah, it is. They, they, they hurt too many people and now they got the police on their ass. I guarantee you, by the end of this, and mind you, maybe part of this is wishful thinking, but somebody's getting taken to jail because they fucked up too much this time. I hope there are enough... I hope there is enough for, for people to go to jail over this shit because this is unacceptable. And... I only deeply regret really that so many people had to get hurt in the yeah. first place so we could get this damn point. No. These victims should have never even been victims in the first Those place. Those are supposed to be fun, exactly. not where you're fearing for your safety. Exactly. God damn. What happened? Like, the, the, what happened to the game? Fun we doesn't lost. escape. No. But... And now we have the console be looking, you know, always staring at her drink, hoping that it's not going to somehow be roofied or anything, or that yeah. someone's not going to catch you. And that's one thing. I used to never be nervous about. Going around alone at cons, especially yeah. during the nighttime, and now you really have to be careful. It's you really have to start really. using the buddy really system do. with this. And honestly, I think it's ridiculous that it's come to that point because before you really had to look after yourself at like you know nightclubs and stuff, and when walking home, you have to really be vigilant. And now we have to do this at cons. Yeah, like the one place you can relax and let your guard down for a little bit. Now, what's and also, um, uh, Juan, I I did see that you um that uh one of the um things that you had posted where uh they were targeting specific characters. As yeah, they were targeting cosplayers who were cosplaying specific characters. It doesn't and from specific fandoms. Yeah, from specific. It doesn't say who. It doesn't say what. Uh, yeah, it did. What? Yeah, 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 it did. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did for several of them. Give me a minute. Oh, gosh. Uh, it's, it's the Instagram one. It's the Instagram yeah, one. Yeah, let's go ahead and look into it, Juancho. But, like, as after we're done looking to that, um, do we want to get into the uh, official response from Hol Holiday Mansory? Uh, not yet. Oh, oh yes. I not want to yet. see what the hell they have to say. Oh, okay. I actually wanted to I actually wanted to find it. Uh, which... Which post? Uh, one sec. I will. I will reply it. I'll. I will reply to it. One yeah. moment. Okay. Yes. Let me find the reply button. Uh, there you what? go. Okay. Give me a second. Da -da -da -da. Replied. And it is. I see on it. The uh, fourth page. Okay, that one. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I did share that link for that just now. Um, and uh, let me see here. Also, Cyclops the X-Man is over here saying, and I wanted to celebrate my good fortune with the Ravens Flock family, my TikTok that's dedicated to everything nerdy and fun. Hit a thousand uh, uh, nine hundred uh, views on TikTok, uh, where I mostly post music and comics and nerd culture is starting to take off. Fantastic. Congratulations. Oh, congrats. Nice. That's good. I'm glad to see that. Congratulations. Kudos to you, buddy. All right. Uh, glad to hear that. Congrats. Um, <clears throat> now... Thank you for that, uh, Zayana, because I did share that Instagram post in the YouTube chat. So I'm going to go ahead and go through that post right now. There's this and there's that. Okay, this was courtesy of this very informative, uh, very well-organized uh, uh, document is brought forward by Bunny Bow Cosplay. Thank you, Bunny Bow Cosplay, for putting this together. I would have been so brain fucked trying to 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 write this out, and <clears throat> what they even put out their own disclaimer here, uh, and I agree from uh, with their disclaimer. From what I've seen, Holiday Mat Series main con event is not the issue. It's the raves and after parties. This infographic is not intended to fearmonger or spread misinformation. It will be updated if more information becomes available. I personally did not attend Hall Map, but I have been confused. Have, have been confused and spending uh, the last few days trying to decipher what exactly is going on here. And I figured out what I, what I wanted, and I want to inform others. I am a Canadian cosplayer, and I did not attend Hall Map. However, I encourage those who did to speak up in the comments section. Please do not send hate to any victims or. Holiday Matsuri. This infographic is intended to share victim stories and hold Hall Matt accountable for negligence on protecting con goers. So, <clears throat> you said that there were specific 
uh, fandoms here. Give me a minute. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. Okay. There's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot. And see, if, if, if you read, it does say at the end, any Genshin character, what do yes. Sis and I cosplay from? A lot of Genshin characters. Slash also any woman of Chainsaw Man. So Makima, mm -hmm. Power, uh, let's see here. Crawl from Seraph of the End. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Mona, Ka uh, uh, Kaya, both from Genshin Kaya. Impact. Mis yeah, Kaya. 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 Sorry, uh, Kaya. Uh, Misato from Evangelion. Jesus Christ, people. And as you know, Genshin is still very popular, so there's a crap ton of people who still cosplay that, especially oh, the women. Yes. So it's it's concerning because now sis and I have to be very vigilant when we go and eat. Yeah, where, especially when we if are we doing like Genshin split characters. for a little bit, we have to look out now. But it's it's it, I think it's really disturbing that there's a list of characters they are going after. And again, they said as far as they know these characters it could be many more characters at this point so the fact that they are very they're being very specific is with who they very want. concerning yeah if they're targeting specific characters that means they they know what they want right and that's disturbing to think about well, it, 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 incredibly it, so it, yes it does um it it's even more concerning the fact that it's it's a known thing for any type of cosplayer to post up their lineup for a con yeah way in advance oh, no you're so, right because so, so then they would be looking yes. for those characters those days so then they know people who are cosplaying and because this is a semi-organized thing now that means that they are discussing oh did you see this person is going to be causing this cosplay uh, uh cosplaying this character targeted so they can target in advance now so that's that's the thing to and they will know the... by that profile uh profile picture okay the this fact is what that the this person is being so well like. documented alone should put some people in jail at this point yeah well it's it's well documented but nobody's been identified aside from that one asshole and you better know he's and not gonna put that lie. one asshole in a hole in the ground six feet under preferably well, that's that, that, that's all well and good, but it doesn't really uh, do anything with, oh, I don't know, identifying and uh, and catching the other fuckers who are participating in this mass monstrosity. Mm. Uh, like, uh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Putting them under the heels is, is, fi is fine. Uh, ending the operation altogether is better. Yes. Be smarter about it. As, as as much as I as I empathize with your bloodlust, Angel, uh, believe me, I empathize in the worst fucking way. Uh, I'm just disappointed that it had to get this far so it could become a big thing that people would finally make a big stink about. It had to it had to basically go to a point that one of the little shits had to get too overconfident, overextend their hand, and really poison a whole ass tank of water in a cone filled to the brain with people of several of every age imaginable. That was guaranteed to be a disaster. I swear to God, it's like a drug operation and a guy runs in with a bag of crack cocaine and just throws it into the middle of the street. Well, it's like even they, worse there is no secrecy that, here. Yeah, it's even worse if you think that um, a lot of uh, cosplayers, they are actually younger than they look. Definitely. Yeah. So on, back in the day, you could actually kind of roughly tell how old someone is. Nowadays, you really can't. Yeah, Nowadays, you look so at you someone can, going, you can okay, see a what is your age? Are you yeah, legal? Yeah, and they look like they're in their 20s, and then you talk to them, and they're actually they're 15. Actually 15. Yeah, they're actually like 14, 15. You're like, oh. Uh, so, so yeah, you never know, know, man. You never know what someone's age actually is. target someone who is underage, then that alone can just... That's so yeah, we have place. we have severe cases of cheese pizza, not the good one, depending on how this whole thing develops. Because you don't know how old somebody is. So people look way older or younger than they actually are yeah. until you ask. Mm -hmm. Shit, look at the twins. I still think they're in their early 20s on this. They are. <laughs> Wait, aren't you? Oh, shit, they were born five weeks ago. I was there during their holy conception. No, 
Oh God! I was one of the three wise men. I brought the incense. <laughs> wow. It's all genetics. They, don't. they were built different. Yeah, I know they assembled them in we China. We have them genetics. Exactly. Yeah, we got the Point genetics. Got the good genes. You got the good. Point genes. in case is hey, not only is it the good genes, we're short as hell, so we didn't get that. That is called gene. portable. That can be good genes depending on yeah. the circumstances. Like I could just you can, stuff you all in a um, You can case. ride your you mean, dog. It can't fit in suitcases. Well, no, but that also brings us up another thing that is kind of related, but also not related. Uh -huh. If you see anyone pick up anyone and walk away with them, question that. Because, personally, that's happened to both Sis and I. People, yes. because we're short, they pick us up, like, oh my god, you're so cute. They throw us over their shoulder and start to walk away from our friend group. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. We no, did it's... not like that at all. And they were just joking about it. Oh, look, you look so adorable. I'm like, now put me down. Yeah, there, me there, down. Was, there was there was a point where I literally screamed, I don't know you put me down. And some random cosplayer looked over like, are you okay? I'm like, no, this person just picked me up. Some people are way too me. comfortable with violating personal boundaries in the con uh, scene. Yeah. Come on, guys. We, we did these cosplays problem. not consent shit years ago. Why do we gotta repeat it? Because there's douchebags like these. People don't understand that, and they still don't the understand that. Old, Even man. if you tell it to their face, they are not gonna understand it, because it's gonna go in one ear, out the other. And it's, it's ridiculous. In yeah, sense. and you figured that after after a long history of all the shit that's been happening, you think that that would force the staff of Holiday Matsuri to drop the hammer. What kind of hammer can they drop, though? Ban their asses. Well, you do that shit, it, banned. And when it gets late, and people are really starting to drink and everything, and, you know, all the, uh, the 18 and up things are going on, there really does need to be more security, Definitely. and people need to be more vigilant. Yes, there is. And more importantly, they, they really need happy. to be more strict with Last that security. Last time I went to Homa, I went to the rave. There was barely any security. At all. Yeah, and raves and are places where fights are bound to break up. Yes. Yeah, and to, to put it in comparison, now Juan, you've been to the rave of Hallmat, right? I was at one of the raves at Hallmat uh, this weekend, yes. Okay. Now, to put it in comparison, you've also attended the rave for Metrocon this year, right? Yes. Now, looking around... As far as you know, the staff is concerned, and the the, the the security that they had, comparing one to the to the other. Here's the thing: that's not the factor that you have to look at. The factor you have to look at is the accessibility of booze. Oh yeah, that is true. That and, oh, is yeah, that the key is factor in all of it. How the hell is anyone going to be able to do? Like at MetroCon, the raves happen. At nighttime, yes, but there's no open bar in the Tampa Convention Center. There's no way to imbibe spiritus beverages there. As a matter of fact, when you go into the main events room where they have their raves, uh, they have a bag check with a sniff check. If you've got any sort of beverages, uh, -uh no, no outside beverages, none. That they is true, that and strictly. But to make a comparison, alcohol serving to alcohol serving, there yeah. are more security per person ratio at the club I frequent than there was at Holiday Matsuri. Ooh. That and it, that's concerning. No, that's that's okay. we're that we're talking mathematics at that point, but I the, but you're not that's, wrong. That's the. That's the problem. Oh, yeah. Also, and let's not forget, even though the club is smaller than the con, the con itself only happens once a year. There is no excuse to skimp out on security when you know you point. have Angel. more people and more risk. Angel, that's my point. Exactly. My preferred club is reasonably small, and but it's usually jam-packed wall-to-wall, more or less, at the busiest point. Yep. And there's still more security there. Actually, in general, there's more security there than I saw at the rave. Incredible. And yet, not surprising. Furthermore, like I mentioned earlier here, with booze being the factor, with alcohol and the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, Catalyst? Yeah. 
right. You know, with uh, with alcohol being a uh, factor on all this, uh, I was doing a, a uh, I was doing a head count on uh, how many actual uh, blasted uh, bits there, uh, how many actual little pop up bars there are at the. Uh, at the uh, at, at at the main events room where they were holding uh, the raves, there were seven, seven pop up bars within the room for the express purpose of selling alcoholic beverages in the main events room for Holiday Matsuri. Now, I don't know. I don't remember if there was any in special events. Were there? No, there was one. No. Two. Three. Two. There was the two in the back and then one by where they were doing the ornaments. Right. Okay. Thank you, K-Storm. Yeah. So three pop-up bars in the special events room. Seven in the main events room. That wow. provides more than enough opportunity where it doesn't matter how much security you've got there, the access to the booze gives ample opportunity for anyone who's participating in this horse shit to get away with their with trying to roofie people directly. No, no, you're right. You do have a point. I apologize. Alright, so you, you that's what we've got to that's what we've yeah. got to watch out for. That's what's actually got to be watched out for. Um, and that being said, with the uh, convention moving to the uh, uh, Orange County Convention Center next year, uh, remind me, Jose, uh, Zayana, Dr- uh, Dragon Fang, y'all had been uh, to the Orange County Convention Center more often than I have. How many? I've only been once. <laughs> more, more, more times than I have. That's still... Um, I have, have uh, also, multiple times. How many times have you seen any sort of booze dispensary, any sort of alcohol dispensary at the convention center itself? Um, none, none in my case, Zero. just because uh, this was way back from MegaCon. This was back <laughs> in like Megacon. the 2010 day. Ah, the early or just, times. No, just, just before 2010. So it's been a long time. So I don't know if that's changed. I've well, been there well, in the past, within like the past uh, 10 years, 7 years. Um, yeah. But I went with, uh, it was at uh, the Orange County Convention Center hosted VMX, which is veterinarian uh, based stuff. They did not have any. They, they don't yeah. have any any uh dispensaries for alcohol yeah me yeah so let me tell you exactly how long ago it's been i cosplayed as kadaj there that's very long okay yeah yeah apologies small deviation but apparently that movie's coming back to theaters which movie it is children yeah that's right yeah coolness that's gonna be a blast from the past man we are just going all the way back to 2001 we gotta make 2001 that's like, 2007. That's 2007, dude. No, shut up. It's 2001 now. No, it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> space we got anyway. Godzilla movies on the TV. People are uh, bitching about Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece again. And Advent Children is coming out on the big screen. Guys, we're back <laughs> in the 1000s. All right. Anyways, as I was trying to say, um, the last time me, Angel, and Juan went together to the Orange County Convention Center was in 2022 for Megacon. And yes, we can safely say that there are no dispensaries. No open bars for any alcohols. And I believe it's because of the regulations of having alcohol inside the convention center. Inside any convention center. There's fucking children in that shit, man. The hotel gets away with it because they're a hotel, but they really should be more strict with that. Yeah. Especially when it permits things like this to happen. But when Hallmark goes there, how many people are going to get busted bringing in alcohol? Yeah. Most likely a lot. We'll find out next year. Um, real quick, I want to actually, uh, minor segue to help cool down for a moment. 
uh, cosplay. I mean, so, uh, sorry, uh, Cyclops uh, was saying, hey, do you guys have any advice on not letting the people who don't like me get me down when they comment on my TikTok videos? I have some. Well, I have one very good piece of advice. Fine, Juan. What's your advice? Delete and block. Fuck them. So okay. They have nothing better to do if with they, their lives if, 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 if they if, try and get other people down. If they're literally just going onto your TikToks to hate on you, thank yeah. you, fuck you, bye. Thanks for the yeah, engagement. Yeah, I mean, they're still giving you a view whether they want to Be or not. Be proud of what you produce. Exactly. Yes. And don't let anyone get you down. Yeah, be proud of what you produce. Um, don't let any don't let any strangers uh, get you down. Um, personally, I I wouldn't delete them or block them unless they start some sort of like thread of just nothing but a bunch of shit. Like if 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 it unless happens, they start to harass you. Once yeah. it when, when it borderlines into harassment, that's when I drop the hammer. Yeah. Otherwise, um, no matter what they complain about, they're still giving you views, which means revenue when the time comes around. Yeah. Um, exactly. It depends on what they're saying too. Are they just you know, trying to help you on you or are they giving you um saying like, yeah, it's not really my thing. I mean, in that case, then why are you watching? I mean, yeah, no. just there is a, why, like, why oh, are you suck, taking you the time work. out of your schedule to comment and hate on something? If you don't even like it, just move along. Exactly. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's definitely a big be, be proud of your content. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's a big difference between constructive criticism and just outright mm -hmm. harassment. It's oh, like, the hey, if this childish? isn't working for you, maybe try this instead and see if that works better. See, oh, that yeah, is so. more constructive you criticism. Said, than you said that okay. they're... Yeah, that did work. Yeah, you know? uh, Cyclops is So basically... They... Yeah, yeah. Cyclops is saying here, uh, they call my love of nerd culture childish. Like, See, and I would say it's not childish to love what you love. Yeah. I mean, heck, it's like, are, are, are we going to call people childish who like sports? It's not my thing. It's not childish, though. Right? It's it's something you love. So how is it childish? They may see it as childish, but you know what? It's because they don't like it. Right. Exactly. Like they, could, they, well, they you don't, could go the, they don't you could go the Or you could go the opposite route. Instead of blocking them and deleting their ass, if they, want, if they actually want to say something explicitly like harassing or whatever you could like i actually did this one time to this one asshole where i uh, put a response on someone on instagram and they were trying to crap on me like oh you're just uh, trying to sniff this girl's ass or whatever or whatever the fuck it was and but they kept commenting under me specifically on there so i i remember doing this one time uh where i was where i just put up the exact same response to them Thank you for the engagement. And they would try to say like say something else. Thank you for the engagement. It's Thank you for the engagement. <laughs> Thank you for the engagement. It annoys the fuck out of them, so they leave you alone afterwards. They could have stopped any time. Mm -hmm. so, See, like, just because you became an adult doesn't mean that you have to like boring things. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Precisely. What it doesn't love. mean that you have to be the same cookie cutter person that this person may be. I'm sorry. Yeah. I like this. Well, you know what? I don't like that, but good for you. Boom. Yeah. There you go. You don't need to be an asshole. Yeah, exactly. Steven and Ron are here saying they just like, wish okay, they had something to do. Does it harm you? Do, do, yeah. Does this what you're what 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 you're posting? Does it harm you in any way? No? Then no, why then do shut you the care? fuck up. Uh, you're doing this because you love doing it. Exactly. Is it harming you? No. Like, uh, it, it, Correct. Like, am, is me no. enjoying the shit hurting you in any way? Yeah. No? Oh, well, I guess you just need to shut the fuck up then. If you don't oh, have, if you're this they just like need something child. to complain about. I think we could all collectively agree on that. But that being said, Juancho, um, we do need to get back on track. You're we right. we could we should yeah, we do need to at least address the official statement from Hallmat before certain people have to go to bed. Thank you. You mean like you and Angel? Well, and primarily Angel. Angel is the, the first night one. The Nyquil is kicking in, uh, and I am slowly drifting off into the coral oh, highlands. No. Okay. He's, have he's floating. He's drink some coffee. Matsuri. All right, guys. Guys. I have one. the response from Holiday Matsuri over here, and I'm going to show it in, in, in on screen. It's uh, it's shared all over their socials. They put it up on their social medias on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So... I'm going to show you guys exactly what they wrote out. 
We at Holiday Matsuri have been made aware of social media postings regarding potential safety issues. The safety of our community is members is paramount and we take the concerns very seriously. We have had no reports filed either to us directly or through our security partners of unintentional ingestion or of consciousness altering substances. We are reaching out to the community to request uh, that anyone who personally experienced this to please contact the Orange County uh, uh, Sheriff's Office immediately. Anyone who experienced this may also feel free to reach out to us as we can assist in facilitating reporting to both the Orlando World Center Marriott and the Orange County Convention Center, uh, 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 rather, or the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Thank you, Team Hallmat. Uh, edit. To those who have reached out, we thank you sincerely. We are following up with concern with the concerns raised and we'll be implementing further safety measures for 2024. We remain available for further feedback via our public safety email, public safety at holidaymatsuri.com. And once again, encourage anyone who feels they were the victim of unintentional ingestion to please contact the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Okay, they th- that sounded s- overly s- sanitized. Even Perfectly chromulent corp- corporate response. Like, okay, I do have an issue with that because I, I did know when, you know, people were reporting that in on the hall map group that people had said, hey, this happened. And then they said, OK, yeah, report it. But they said we did report it and you haven't said anything. So I am mm. concerned about that. Like, why? Were you why trying, are you brushing it why, aside? Why were why were you saying that no one has reported it when people have stated that they did reach out both on because Instagram when the contract is over and they Facebook. move to Orange County, they will just simply pretend it never happened. It's a new place. We're just going to forget the old and ales and start a new. In in that as well, I've I, I I, I'm trying to find the post, but I can't find it right now because there's it's kind of engorged with all the pictures uh, coming up. Um, I did hear someone say that they also did talk to the cops, but the all the thing that uh, everything that the cops said was, "You just need to drink less and brush it aside." I, I specifically remember that comment. Like that's gonna you just help. need to drink less. Yes, drink that less sounds alcohol. Right, actually, considering one experience that I had earlier this year, that sounds exactly fucking right. <sighs> So yeah, and that's I, when the police's uselessness comes to light because unless they catch the criminal in flagrant to the lito, as they say, unless they catch fuckers with hands exist. in cookie jars, they can't do shit. And that's sad uh, because that sure. person is going free again. Yeah, I'm sorry that I can't provide a screenshot yet. There are so many comments, and actually, a lot of comments have actually been deleted too. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of comments that were deleted. Yeah, I wonder why. Now, again, we're. I mean, this is everyone... serious. I don't know why they're not taking it seriously. Well, they're trying. I mean, to I, show okay, that they're trying yeah, but... to take it seriously, and but deleting comments is not yeah, how no, to do it. However, however, no, however, it just means they're running away. I did see. I also did see that it seems like there wasn't a lot of um, communication. With um with some of the staff because all, some people said that they knew about people coming forward, but other staff members said they had no idea what was going on. And I do know with, with you know with a big con like this, it's hard for all the communication to always go to everyone because also the signal sucks. So it's possible that you can't really get as much uh, communication to go out, and some people aren't really looking at their phone because you know they're actually doing their job. But I, I would say um, communication would be a good thing to um, to work on to make sure that once this has been reported to someone, immediately say even if you know it's a false I alarm, to at least say, "Hey, can we keep an eye out for this?" Someone said this happened to them, especially if if someone said they that you know they drank water and they are feeling funny because. <laughs> Like that, that that's a big concern. We're like, we need to get on top of this. Let's get let's tell everyone else what happened. Just to see if anyone else comes forward with these. So now yeah. I've gotta also mention this as a matter of record. There was heavy discussion on this 
in the Holiday Matsuri official Discord servers where people were giving their opinions, giving their stated uh, stances uh, uh, on either side of this, whether they think that the convention's doing what they can or whether they're not, or whether there needs to be more accountability by the convention or by the hotel or whatever. Like, basically, it's become... It's become white noise almost, for lack of a better term. Every like the discourse has become so loud and shouting each other down. I can't get a proper read. I even went in and tried to see if there was anyone who was willing to uh st- like to step forward over to here on the Ravens flock and come to us so that we can help expose this shit or. Anyone who would help us, you know, pin this shit down a little more with detail. And more folks were worried about having their own individual stories taken out of context or sent in or being misquoted or quoted by someone else than they were in fucking trying to help and getting this shit out. Okay, I I just sent you the screenshot of the thing I was talking about. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull it up in a moment. Yeah, it's um, like, I hope you'll excuse me. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying not to fucking shit myself over why it, it, people are trying to cover their asses more with optics rather than help take proper action to f- fix this problem. Because well, that yeah, means but like, that if, somebody if there the is staff members either. truly didn't know, then yeah. you can't really hold them accountable if they were not the people who had reports brought to them, and they didn't know. So you can't oh, you know, people, Maybe somebody in yeah. the staff is not as clean as we expect. There are people, yeah. too. They're not exempt from suspicion. Yeah. Okay, it's that, unfortunate. Okay, that's it really it's, a big possibility, I, but I really don't want to start trying to cast aspersions where it might not be due. Uh, that being said, um, this is the, the, the comment that uh, Zayana sent us over here. Uh, it says here, what? The person sitting next to us in the hallway called security about being roofied at the rave, and we overheard the security officer saying there was nothing they could do about it, and they told the girl she, that she should drink less. Yeah, I purposely um, got a cropped yeah. it, so the person who posted it is remains anonymous because I don't want to say any names. But yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. don't want to name anyone. I... We don't want to post anyone's uh, info or whatever, uh, but I... I, I understand exactly where angels coming from on there but like i digress the what pisses me off is i went in full openly on here saying hey is the is do you think that anyone here would be willing to uh step forward or be okay if we could uh talk about this on our podcast this wednesday night we want to try to shed a light on this and people were worried, like, oh, well, why? it sounds like you're trying to cloud chase, man. Why are you just acting in bad taste? I'm like, are you fucking serious? Do, do, the, do, do these guys not know what we do? Do they not know what we're about? We're, we're, we're the Ravens flock. We fuck, uh, it's your voice, our mission. We're the ones who are trying to help bring these motherfuckers down. We can't do that if people won't come forward. Or at least trust I- us enough to... Yeah, I also did see um, some things where um, this one person said that a lot of the victims don't feel very secure in reporting because Mm -hmm. some people have been brushing them aside saying, you know, oh, that didn't happen. So it's basically if we didn't see it, it didn't happen. Unfortunately. I, I do think that these things really, especially if you have rumors of someone being roofied, I really do think it should be taken serious, even if it turns out to yeah. be fake. Because what if it was true and you just ignored it? Yeah. I mean, being... What if someone was seriously like hurt no by this anger. and you just ignored it? If you find anyone unconscious anywhere, also be concerned. I, I mean, as, as a community, we really do need to really start watching out for each other even if we're strangers if you see something yeah. weird you you gotta unless it's a dangerous situation then you go get you know security or something but you you want to you really want to just pay attention help out where you can 
we, we got to look out for each other. There's mother, there's motherfuckers literally out to fucking harm people, drug people, fucking do this kind of shit. But apparently I'm the fucking rabble rouser. I'm the bad guy. Guys like, like people like me who are trying to bring this shit to light. We're the ones who are clout chasing men. What the fuck is worse? Well, clout chasing it's not even clout fucking chasing. Fucking no, it's not clout chasing it's at all. It's not clout chasing if you really want it's to get. It's informing people. And, and you're you were trying to actually get people who this actually happened to's testimony. So that's not just the he said, she said, oh my what? friend, oh this the person person I follow. It's actually the actual source. Right. And now ne- okay. and now next year they're gonna be mo- the, the uh, holiday Matsuri will be moving to the Orange County Convention Center where the accessibility of alcohol will be completely gone because it's not allowed at the convention center um but that won't stop these motherfuckers from trying if they were no, bold no, enough to def- do this shit out in open view then who knows what the fuck they're willing to do uh, 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 under uh, fucking under the rug you know actually if i may if i may juan yes. i would like to share a theory i think that for next year for 2024 i think now i'm not saying double down but i think that for the security and public safety for Hallmat for next year might be a it might be a, it might it might, it might improve for these reasons. Number one, because of everything that's happening and that's coming out right now that we're talking about. Number two, because of the venue, the Orange County Convention Center, and is and and where it's located. Like it's it's a very popular convention center in uh, in Florida. And it's located in a very, very highly commercial and popular area. And they know that if they screw this up and the reputation goes down the toilet, that's it. This ain't fucking Disney. They can't just whitewash every single bad thing that happens. Cons live and die by the reputation. And I don't know you, but uh, I would not want my con to be known as the resident home of the Grape Squad. Yeah, no, I... So they better step the fuck up and ship up with this thing. Because otherwise, it's going to keep happening and it's going to get worse. Because people like this, they will keep going until they push it too far. And they are already pushing it to begin with. Uh, There's one small uh, thing that we're not taking into account for any of this. What? Uh, Just because there's no alcohol in the uh convention center itself doesn't mean that there's no uh, uh that there's no chance to uh try to get alcohol to try to get uh, like a crunk on there you have to remember the orange county convention center is surrounded by hotels check it hyatt regency orlando rosen plaza westgate L- uh, lakes resort and spa or uh, rosen uh, center true by hilton double tree lakes resort lakesfront uh, villa that's what fucking uh, nine hotels just within the immediate area as a start. As and a we do and within walking distance. Of, yeah, and there are a lot of con hotel parties. If yes, you. I I would always say if someone invites you and you don't know them to a party like that, I would be very very suspicious just because that. Yes. It is going around that you know people are roofing everything, and it would be very easy to do that in a hotel party room, like not to fear monger, but it. I mean, especially if it's someone you don't know. I mean, I I would be very very cautious. No, you're yeah. Right. You've got as long as people are very vigilant, and you know, keep an eye on their surroundings and everything, I think it will be okay. Especially, as you said, there's not going to be any alcohol in the convention center. But we do know people have found very um, uh, creative ways to sneak in alcohol. Like, you know, having a little flask hidden in their armor, in their weapons, you know, their props. I mean, people have got to very It's endless. People could hide alcohol anywhere. Anywhere they can. In their chest. Yeah. You know, the 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 crazy thing on this is like like you said there's gonna be after parties and like hotel parties. Megacon has it. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Hallback does it as well, or if there's, uh, or if other like production people like Moshi Moshi or uh, or Senpai Squad or uh, or Cosplay Divas, if they do their own unofficial after party stuff in like the hotel areas and there are hotel spots that have their own built-in nightclubs where you can have these kind of parties. So it's not outside the realm of possibility. There's still going to be a chance for this kind of stuff to happen. And- it's not outside the realm of possibility, but that, but that, but that depends on uh, what agreements they come to between the Hallmat staff no, I'm, saying, convic- I'm saying they could be unofficial ones, like oh, like they're done right, right. D- during the same time as the convention, but they're not affiliated directly with the convention. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, they're just random yeah. goers who have hotel parties, and they advertise it too. Or sometimes they don't, but they only approach. I, I've, I've heard this that, like at Katsukon, they approach certain people to invite up to um, their yeah their parties. That's why I say always be very cautious of it. I've never gone to one. I've only gone to a few with friends. Yeah. And I know. I would I've never gone to a hotel room that with with someone I didn't know. Good, good. As long as you're careful. And trust nobody nowadays is disappointing. So you did the smart thing Mm -hmm. over here. Um like Jose did mention here, uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to try to cut this shit short because we are, uh, like, we're on a bit of a flow here, but I know Angel oh, it's Jose, midnight. you guys have to go to bed. You got work in the morning, so do I. Uh, sorry, Angel, dudes. I'm going to go ahead and let you get your last words in, uh, your final thoughts, and uh, let us know what we can look forward to this Saturday uh, if we're going to be able to continue on Los Amigos Play. Well, first off, thank you, Granny, for having me here. I long for their death. Anyway, next Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we can actually get some good news in this. We can resume the episode of Los Amigos Play Wonderful 101 Remaster. With the hopeful companionship of my fellow streamers and heroes, everybody gathered here, we can continue the eternal trolley of fighting to defend Blossom City. And I sincerely hope that you, our beloved listeners, will be there for us as we continue to fight in our own little way, and try to make the world a slightly brighter place than when we left it. I appreciate it, Angel. Uh, get your ass to bed, man. I'll see you later, okay? It's been good, everybody. Please take good care. And once again, despite the rabid and bad news that have surrounded the whole thing, I still all the same enjoy the con. And here's to hoping some action and actions is taken and some justice is met. You take good care now. See you all later. All right, thank you. All right, man. Have a good night. Yeah, bye-bye, then. Have a good see night. See ya. Bye, Angel. Alright, Jose, Jose, I know you've got to go to bed in a moment, so go ahead and let us know your final thoughts here and uh, what you've got planned tomorrow night for Wrestle Rewind. Alright, so final thoughts. Okay, so first of all, I don't want, like, okay, I know Angel said he wants them to die. I don't want them to, no, no. I don't want them to. the fuckers of the game. I know. I don't want them to die. I want them to get caught. I want them to get caught and I want them to live with their damn shame because them dying would be merciful. It would be, would be mercy. And I don't want them to have any ounce of mercy. Dying in the Minecraft server, die, like die metaphorically, not physical harm. We're not trying to advocate the death of a person. Uh, you anyway, want them to be brought to justice. Yeah, you know, we we want them to stub their toes on every corner, and uh, we want them to uh, uh, always have a flat tire just after they run out of money, so they have to wait two weeks and get flat tires. And we want their livelihood to die on Minecraft. There. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Thank you for that. Now let me get back to my thoughts. Yeah. Please. Yeah. No. And. I actually want to piggyback off of what Zayana Rose and Dragon Feg said earlier. You go to these conventions and to have fun, to enjoy yourself, to enjoy yourself, to have fun, meet new people, and just have a wonderful experience. A convention center, which hosts which hosts awesome events like cosplays and cosplay contests and dances and stuff, where there's children that are attending, is the last fucking place to be doing this shit 
it shouldn't be and like it shouldn't it it, it, it's, it shouldn't happen period because it's absolutely goddamn disgusting but i'm but i don't know man like i i'm like i'm 50 50 part of me hopes that maybe next year things will be different but i'm also very skeptical because this is not the first time that this has happened at hall mad apparently Apparently, these are according to the reports of the stuff that was uh, but brought forward by these folks, uh, and and trying to the, bring this shit to light. Okay. The best we can do is to just is to be is to look out for one another and keep our eyes open and keep our ears to the ground. And if anything does happen, if you see something. Uh, 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 something that's happened don't hesitate report it all right and or, or if, if there's someone that who's uh who was personally affected by it then you help them and you get them to security or to the police or the authorities and let them know what happened right then and there yes absolutely 100 percent right. Right, yeah, you don't just stand by and say, "Oh, someone else." Yeah, will do someone it. else is going to do it. Someone because else is going to do it. Other like, people don't. Will also have that thought. Correct. It's just like you know, someone else will call an ambulance, and there's a group of people, and each of them are thinking the same that same thing. Someone else. It's will the call. bystander. Else will have... uh, yeah. Parad- like uh, effect. Yeah. Yep. Now. For tomorrow night's edition of Wrestle Rewind, which is every Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube, big kick. Uh, it's it's going to be the final episode before the uh, the final episode to wrap up the year of 2024. So we're going to be taking a break from our usual format, and we're going to present uh, something a little bit different for Wrestle Rewind. I'm not going to say much more outside of that, but trust me, you'll get it, trust me, you guys will get your laughs in. Me and Juan, we've got uh, something special for you guys. Okay. All right, I appreciate it, Jose. Uh, to be perfectly honest, folks, I still have no clue what exactly Jose's got in mind. He's it's his show. He's gonna cook it up, so he'll let me know. Uh, he'll let me know to, uh, tomorrow once he's got his uh, set up for the show ready. So, Jose, we'll see you tomorrow night for Wrestle Rewind. Absolutely. All right, folks. Juan, thank you very much for having me on, folks. You guys have been great on the chat. Honestly, you guys are all great. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the bed. Remember to please be responsible and be mindful of where you get your news from. And remember that at the end of the day, we are all human beings. All right. Thank you, Jose. You have a good night. Go to fuck to sleep. Or I'll all right. kick your ass. All right. The dragon he knows where you live. Zayana Rose, Dragon <laughs> Fang, I need your final thoughts over here. I want y'all to, uh, I, I want y'all to go ahead and get some shut eye, okay? Shut eye? What's that? What's sleep? <laughs> it's okay. I'll be up until like one well, almost two in the morning again. I'll probably be up at just three. Um, like always. Thoughts about this? Um, it's terrifying to think that this happened at a con that I was really bummed about not being able to go to. Um, it sucks that this happened. My heart goes out to everyone who was affected because, again, you go to these cons not expecting this to happen. And to have it happen to you... It's it's the mindset of it'll never happen to me until it finally does, and when it does, you're just like, why? What did I do? Which for this, you just drink some water, and not roofie, but I I do hope that something can be done to help prevent this in the future to maybe even a warning to be more vigilant um maybe someone even kind of keeping an eye on those water jugs too i mean i know it's not just what security water jugs. around those plays <laughs> minimize but, the like, access to uh to booze also helps in, in, yes in mm-hmm. order to keep that from Billy. Like, happening you can't stop this from happening completely but, but you, you can, can at least try to have minimize precautions, though so it happens less right yes so and, and, this, and it's it yes it happened at home up before as well but it, i mean it's also happened at so many cons and i really think it's like it, all the cons need to have like a big wake up that this is 
becoming, especially since now, again, there is a group doing this. There needs to really be a call of action to really try and crack down on this. Because if yes. people really stop coming to cons because this is happening and it's not being stopped, I mean, people are just going to stop coming. It's going to kill the convention scene as we know it. Yeah. And, and we don't want that to happen, of course. Because, I mean, again, it's it's one of our escapes from the crap that is reality. Yeah, the last thing we need so, is to I mean, shit into the, the realm that we love. The, yeah. the being, being able to... <sighs> Able yeah, to so it's like these spaces with, with well, sis just with took words. everything that I was gonna say. Save yeah. for me, bitch. Uh, Save it, yeah, for it's me. had a psychic twin moment. I don't know. Yeah, it, I just think it sucks. I mean, leave right. some for me to talk oh, about. Please, yeah, come let on. Dragon Fang talk, Zayana. Come on, go on, go on. <laughs> everything. Just but yeah, everything that me. sis said is what I was gonna be saying. But it still sucks that it had to have happened so many times for people to now just start talking about it and, like, really being concerned. It shouldn't have happened in the first place. It should have been caught much earlier. And everyone who was affected, my heart does go out to them because what was supposed to be a fantastic experience at a con ended up being anything but that. And just to have that happen... That could end up being their last, you know, they won't go to that con because of that. And one one thing that happens can make or break a con for you. And some of these people end up not going to that con because that's what broke the con for them. And it's horrible that that happens. And I hope people that people end up, you know, telling, you know, security and whatnot, we need to be safe. You need to make us feel safe because if the staff doesn't make it a safe place, w w what's going to happen? People are not going to be wanting to come. Right. It's going to affect if they're, if they're not going to watch out for their patrons, watch out for their wallets at the very fucking least. If they're not going to be minded for the actual safety, then watch out for the continued survival and uh, revenue stream that the convention provides. If that's the way they're going to, if that's the way they're, they're, that they're going to go about this stuff. And also, I mean, word it's of mouth and I hate travel. That kind of shit, but if that's the way they fucking want to play, then fine. Fucking play that Yeah, way. Yeah, because I, I have seen a lot of people, I mean, again, we, we get people you know, from out of country as well. And yeah. then they may tell some of their friends, yeah, uh, I overheard someone saying that they got roofied there and la 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 la. And, and then, that's then they tell their people friends. People wanted to come to the con, but decided and not And their to friends, anymore. yeah, and their friends who are also overseas hear that and they're like, oh, well, oh, maybe we shouldn't go to this there? con then. Maybe you we know, should go to another con that feels more safer. That's why rapid, um, well, what's the word? Um, rapid action when this they first catch wind and you know if they put out an announcement right away hey guys we've heard this it could be a rumor it could be true but please watch out boom easy you just post that on the main thing so that people are aware and that way if more keeps popping up people know it is a not a rumor though it can it can also make people start to panic and everything but i do think like something should be mentioned as just a precaution, so. Yeah. No, you're damn right. You got it. All I like to say is, whenever you go to convention, stay safe, be vigilant. And if you take a, like, if you if you have a cup of alcohol or water, and you look away for a moment, unless you're with a group of friends, drink, unless yeah. you're with a group of friends who, if you're at like the bar or something. Trust. Don't yeah. don't even drink it because someone could have slipped. It could be like that one percent chance, but do you want to chance that? Yeah, like you this can't. will never always happen. You can't take that kind of chance, right? But like, it can only take that one percent. It would be it that one time. Yeah. Of, oh, it can't happen to me, and then it does happen to you. 
So it just sucks that we have to do this now. That we have to be more vigilant at cons. But I, I do because hope that this, this really the, does because the cons themselves apparently are trying to, like, well, like they're trying to cover their own behinds or trying to say what you should be doing, and that's go to the mm-hmm. Orange County Sheriff's Office and to, uh, to, uh, to you know, to the police. But the police were there. They didn't fucking do anything then. The best that we got was maybe like one person. Like, like I, I saw that they, the, uh, the, I did manage to see that one person who was apparently affected was carried away on a stretcher by EMT. Yes, but I just well, hope this person is caught too and caught soon before these any people, more, more than, disasters happen. Yeah, that these uh, game players fucking. They get their fucking game shut down once and for all. Yeah, the only thing I can really say is, like, if the game is starting to really be Ramp spread up. around, you know, and people actually learn about this. And that's a big thing. It needs to really be spread around. Like, hey, this needs to be a no signal thing. boost. Yeah, there needs to be a big signal a boost. A signal boost across every con now. Because the more people know about it, the more vigilant they will be, and the more and the less the better they can recognize he did. Right. And what? I, uh, and like no, again, I didn't even know about this before until mm-hmm. you brought it to my attention. Neither did so I. I, I. If I don't like, know one about of those it, really screwy, I mean, other yeah. people don't know about it. You know, what's you know? really screwy over here. I'm over here in my own head right now, trying to get out of it. I'm failing miserably, and I'm listening. And I'm trying to respond <sighs> with you guys at the same time, but I'm over here thinking like. What the fuck did, where did we go wrong where we, where here at the Raven's Lock, where we didn't know about this shit until just, like. Because it was under the radar. Like. It was under the radar until now. And that's the sad thing. You also have to think how many people tried to say something and no one listened. And we're just probably just and now that when I'm over, like I said, when I'm over here fucking trying to, like I, I'm, I'm dwelling on this, and I'm sorry that I'm dwelling on this part, but like the when I, when I was asking folks to, like, hey, who wants is if there's anyone who wants to come forward and help out, and their fucking their first thought is, why are you cloud chasing? Why are you trying to uh, bring up drama that doesn't concern you? I've literally got people fucking telling me like, oh well, if you weren't personally affected by this, then what you shouldn't be reporting on rumors and stories that don't concern you. Like, oh gee. Sorry for having basic human fucking empathy. Sorry well, see, for giving a about fuck it. about people. Those same people could also be the ones who covered everything up and who um, basically were trying to discredit people who were actually trying to say, this happened to me. Either that or they have too much faith in the status quo and they think that, oh, well, if we just keep it uh, our, to our own business and let the people who are affected deal with it, then surely the system will come through. Like, it's never come through. Not ever. In my experience, people who have been affected like this are scarred for life and get zero fucking justice for it. Zero fucking accountability for the people that they put their trust in. So I'm over yeah. here trying to help us out and, and, and trying to help these folks out by like saying like, no, we here at the Ravens Flock are listening. We at the Ravens Flock are here to help. We're going to signal boost this shit. We want to expose these motherfuckers. Help us in any way we can. Provide us details. If you want to be anonymous, you can be anonymous. We will protect your, uh, your identity. We are here to fucking help make a proper difference and the people's first fucking thoughts are to fucking and their first fucking thoughts are why are you being a cloud chaser fuck that shit man sorry i'm a hug on saturday (laughs) we'll hug you on saturday but honestly this this is a giant mess right now and it it needs to have People need to... They need to have action. Yeah. Con security needs to up their... Up their... Uh, I'm, I'm missing the word. Um, vigilance? Yes, vigilance. They need to be more vigilant. And they need to listen when people come to them about concerns like this. Instead of just brushing it aside going, Oh, well, you know... You're know, doing it for attention. We'll, we'll listen, we'll listen, but we're not going to do anything. 
what's that going to do? If more and more people come to you saying the exact same thing, or you see stuff like this happen, and you're just going to stand idly by going, do, 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 not doing it. No, I don't see anything. That's, that's going to reflect badly upon the con itself. I mean, so it currently like is right now. We need to start taking action to prevent this stuff from happening. Because guess what? You're going to lose those people if nothing is done. Well, and again, most people have stated that they won't be coming yeah. back for next year. That's, uh, that's mm -hmm. But like, my final thought is I would not wish this on even people that I don't like. Me? Because yeah. that, got a whole fucking they, that's that's going to deserve that. Hate. Yeah, but like, I could never wish that on them because that, that you can't get over something like this happening. That's PTSD waiting to happen for some I mean, of these that's people. trauma and right there. that is never something you wish on someone. Never. Fuck. I mean, it's just, right. no, you, it's you, crazy. No, you can't wish that shit on someone, but, uh, but like, be that as it may, the convention experience itself was still fun, but I hate that, uh, that almost all of it was overshadowed by this fucking nightmare. This fucking mm -hmm. game nightmare bullshit. And, and I hate that we had to fucking report on this shit. I really do. I really fucking hate it because I wasn't wanting to fucking uh, talk about any of this kind of hor so horrible craziness going on. Like, yeah, people getting drunk and being rowdy. That's one thing. But this shit's on another fucking <laughs> level. I don't care if you're over here and you're in uh, uh, one of those uh, in, in, the, in the hotel rooms that are like adjoining and you rented it out and you've got yourself your own little micro rave going on. The, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Okay, you're over here. You're over 21. You know the people that you're bringing in. Fantastic. Knock yourselves out. Have fun. Deal with the consequences on your own. Aspirin is and water are your best friend. But motherfuck, this kind of fucking thing is fucking... This has to fucking be accounted for this shit has to be brought forward and i hate that we had to bring this kind of shit up and mm. i hope to god that whoever's in any sort of fucking whoever's in any sort of position to do something about this shit is listening it would be tonight. wonderful if something happened something could happen and something happens quickly but we're the bad guys because we're chasing clout motherfuckers it's ridiculous that people even think that we're chasing clout when we're just trying to boost the signal i mean i'm just saying if, if we're chasing clout then what are journalists and news reporters doing yeah like notice how i had it like like normally whenever we do our our plugs and all this stuff i fucking uh in the chat or whatever i fucking put in oh hey you can donate here on our cash app or through paypal or you could go to our merch store things like that like i notice tonight since i knew we were gonna be fucking headed into this fucking under siege two dark territory horse shit I did not fucking go into any sort of monetary plugs for us because that's not what we're fucking focusing on tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're focusing on something very important and that all that could just be swept away right now. But it's like the main thing is this needs to stop. Because it's going to come to a point where someone might die because of this. And that, per and, the, and that, and just that thought terrifies me. <laughs> well, here's the thing: I think if it comes to that point, all hell is going to break loose. Yeah. If someone, unfortunately, and I hope it never happens, but if it does, and someone dies because of this or sexual assault that happens or anything, it's going to come to a head. And people are going to raise hell. Because they'll be like, why didn't you stop it before it got to this point? You could have done something beforehand. They could have done something. And then, and then something actual terrible happens. And now you're taking action? Because you were waiting for that one bad thing to go, oh, wait, maybe we should do something. It's like action just needs to be... 
it would be too late at that Something point. Something needs to be done. And we need to fucking... And we need to keep spreading the word. We need to keep signal If boosting. it's just bolstering security or or placing security near these water stations, that's already a plus. Right. Because then they could actually go, hey, someone's doing something funny at that water station. And then they could apprehend that person. Right, precisely. And then it, it would be... Once it's too late, it's too late, and that's it. They can only do this shit. Mm -hmm. After that, you can just... Like, Struggler over here in the chat, he's saying, like, yeah, I've been quiet. My dumb jokes don't feel appropriate. Jesus fucking Christ. No, I I, I appreciate that, Struggler. I know that that's not... This this wasn't the the route you were going for. We were just looking for hijinks and, uh, hey, fun cosplays and this shit. And, like, folks, I promise you, I promise you, we've got the video... To prove it, there was still loads that was a fun time that was had by so many folks. You know, and and, and Holiday my story, like, when, with this shit happening, there was, like, the, the, the we can't ignore the grime. You can't ignore it. Or pretend that it doesn't exist. It's gotta be called out. The first step to solving a problem is admitting there is one. And mm-hmm. the problem is... And the second step is making steps towards fixing it. Exactly. Whatever those steps will be. Right. Exactly. Yeah, no, final thoughts for you, Dragon Fang. Because uh, 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 I gotta wrap up. Oh, you're... oh, I already said my bit. Oh, you did. Okay, uh, how about... Yeah, with, with sis. Okay. In that case, ladies, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave you to it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give my final thoughts here as well. If you want to stick around for the rest of me trying not to yeah. go into histrionics right now. We got you back. Thank you. Gotcha. And uh, yeah, final thoughts for me is straightforward. It's uh, um, I wanted so much to just focus on being able to enjoy this shit. But like also at the same time, my own experience was like, I one of my girlfriends, she couldn't make it to Hall Man, and you know, K Storm and I were actually looking to try to have lunch with her and like fucking have time. She couldn't even make it. Um, one person that I'm friends online with, I wanted to have some kind of uh, time to meet up with them to hang out with, like, couldn't make it, or they were just too busy. Mm. Um, another person who was looking for a photographer, uh, she was looking for someone to help take photos of some of her cosplays and like, there was no signal in half the time. And like the text message yeah. show until like five hours later, we can fucking like, Oh, Hey, you're, you, are you over by the game room? Uh, I'm, I'm right there right now. Uh, uh, I'm going to, uh, where are you? Uh, like, Oh, I already went back to the room. The costume was too much. I was getting a headache. Like, like, there's just like example. I'm not naming people. I'm not gonna fucking put anyone under the the throw anybody under the 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 bus for that. It's like, fucking stuff happens, you know. Like, I I wanted to focus on being able to see what else I could do to try to get my mind off of the fact that there was this fucking monstrosity of a problem happening during the con, and at the same time making sure that we got some video, got some footage, got to enjoy. Uh, and celebrate these fandoms, celebrate each other, celebrate ourselves a little bit, because that's half of what the community is for, you know, celebrating each other and help, and lifting each other up, not this, this fucking mess. And uh, I just hope that, I really hope that uh, folks can take it seriously and take actions to help stop it. And, Here's another little piece of advice. Uh, I don't know if anyone's, if I need to fucking say this one more time. We here at the Raven's Flock, we don't give a shit about clout. All right. We had spent an entire year on hiatus once because members of our, of our team had left on mass. And that's a whole other problem. And we thought that we were fucking ruined forever. 
but we kept going afterwards. We kept going after that. And we're st- staying strong after all this shit. We're not out for clout. We're not out to be uh, the, the cool kids on the block. We're the fucking ones who knock. We're the fucking ones who are here to fucking help the fucking Akan community. We're here to help our fellow nerds. Your voice, our mission. If we were interested in clout, I would have been fucking doing a live stream in someone's face while they were fucking being strapped to a stretcher. That would have been fucking clout chasing. Let this be the one and only time that I got to fucking say this. We take this shit seriously here. If you're worried about your privacy, we will protect your identity. If you're worried that we can't be trusted, take a look at our work. Take a look at our body of work for over a decade. We have done nothing but be of service to the con community. We try to level all that stuff out with, with as much fun and as much wackiness as we can because there's some absurd shit that happens in the world of nerd and pop culture and it bears fucking uh, uh, reporting. A couple of years ago, we had the Battle of the Joshes, which was just a ridiculous meme and then people realize, oh shit, we're going to make it a real thing, so let's fucking have fun. And at the end, they had like this uh, nine-year-old kid who was there for fun and he... He was the winner. He was the Josh of all Joshes. Because, like, it was fucking fun. Right? And we fucking celebrated that. Because it's fucking ridiculous. And it's fucking fun and awesome. So we celebrate the good. We admonish the horse shit. And we take the motherfuckers who bring the horse shit up. And we rake them across the fucking coals. If we know them by name, we will tear their asses from asshole to appetite and we will name them we will show them for the fucking scumbags they are if you don't believe me take a look for yourself next time worry a little bit less about cloud a little worry more about uh, worry a little bit more about action and you better believe that especially on uh, uh, especially over here at the raven's flock Whenever we have to delve into the darker side of nerd and pop culture, we'll be doing it right here on this program. The uncensored and uncompromising interview and review podcast of the Raven's Flock, The Black Files, hosted by yours truly, Juan Arouse. Be sure to request access as we go live every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, simulcasting on YouTube and Kick. Hit the subscribe or the follow button, ring the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our content, become an inner flocker by hitting the join button. And until next time, continue to follow us on Facebook.com slash The Raven's Flock, Twitter.com slash Raven's Flock 13. Instagram.com slash the Ravens Flock online, kick.com slash the Ravens Flock, and of course, remember to hit the subscribe button and ring that tiny little notification bell right here on our flagship platform, youtube.com slash the Ravens Flock. Humble home of the Black Files, Los Amigos Play, Wrestle Rewind, and the Ravens Flock. For Jose Casabone, Angel Mendes, Dragon Fang Cosplay, Dan Rose Cosplay, and Casor Cosplay, I am Juan Rouse. This has been the Black Files, and we are out.